Oh, it's just a matter of adjusting it. Yeah. We're, you can even send it further away if you want. Yeah. Sending it. Fucking zing. Oh, scroll up this so I can see the whole thing. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Here we are. Oh, oh, oh. Looks like we're on a boat. I'm on a boat. Needs to be looking at you a little bit more. Like, huh? yeah. I think, ta da. Think? Good enough for government. Government work. Government. Not having a mouse is really annoying. Yeah. This whole time, you, you I've been the, recording. Mic check, mic check. Why'd you take the little dongle out? The, I mean, the USB thing. The. Okay. I don't use it when I'm at home because I don't have a reason to have 800 things plugged in. Oh, well, I mean, just plug it in your backpack. Yeah, I'm going to buy a new one. Oh. Because it's all loose. It's all loosey goosey. Loose? Joe. Loosey goosey it's juicy. Loosey goosey juicy toosy boosy woosy. <laughs> Peasy poosy. Gary Busey. Oh, Gary Busey. We threw Gary. him in there, huh? Yeah, well, duh. <laughs> you can't have a oosie without a Gary. Word. Gary Busey. Not to be confused with the hardcore Gary. Not to be confused with hardcore at all. Uh, do, of course, I can't reach that. This would be a thing still. Oh, God, I'm going to drop my laptop. Don't do that. This is not we're, anywhere near where it needs to be. We've already been through that. All right. Fuck me, man. <laughs> it's all right. It's only 1030. We're good. Okay. That doesn't need to be there. Our peeps might not be, but, you know, we're all good. Ooh, that's loud. That's Loud. Coming in hot. I want to get a little bump. Oh, I'm on ours. All these all the way down. That's down. That's down. And we're here. Is your stuff? I sound good. Okay. Like, I, I mean, in my headphones, I sound good. All right. Yeah, I sound, I think I sound pretty good, too. Yeah. Um, Just about right. Check, right. check one, like two. Check, 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 check. Mike, check one, two. Check. <laughs> check. <laughs> Mike, check. Check. Uh, <laughs> what was that guy saying? And then everybody's like, what? Check, check. Yeah. My check. Check, check. That was at the concert. We're good now. Yeah, we're good. We're good. I'm going to, I'm sitting on a, I'm like falling this way. I don't know why. All right. Well, either way, we're here. We're ready to record. We are live. Oh, we are saying like, hi yeah. to everybody. What's up? Thanks, Dennis, for hi. being here. Yeah. Um, Ugh, you should. What? Who should? Dennis. He Dennis. said he's in bed. He might not make it the whole show. Oh. That's, that's all right. You can catch up later. That's some bitch assness. Oh. He said it. He said he's in catch up later. Oh. That's oh, it's actually not too bad of a delay. I want to make it look like we have more people watching. So. <laughs> so we look cool. <laughs> okay. So before we get started, uh, how's everyone doing tonight? Yeah, man. Who's everyone being Dennis, Dennis and me. I'm doing great. I'm in the Does live. it say how many people are in there? Uh, I'm looking at my phone. It says we have three, four, three, three now. Two of them are us. Two of them are us. Somebody said hi. And then so bye. it's Dennis. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Um. Anyway, so hi, Dennis. I guess we'll get this party started. Why wait? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Let me uh, get to my show sheet. Oh, yeah. I need to get to the, my, my sheet of the show. Okay. So we're going to do this. I'm going to adjust hi, this. Hi, Danny. Oh, wait. Danny's not here. No. Maybe it's a uh... high hardcore. No, ready. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. What's up, man? Hey. I probably should have waited till the uh end of the song to, before I started talking. It's okay. Yeah. So anyway, hey everybody, uh welcome to Getting Older with Rob and Joe. I'm Rob. And I'm Joe. Hey, what's up, man? It's only fair yeah. the way this night is gone. <laughs> dude, it is so bad. I I'm still like trying to adjust how I'm sitting. Right. My, it... my microphone is not falling. It's not falling. I just doing its own thing. But no, because I have to have my laptop right here now because I'm a dumbass <laughs> or a retard as the, the description says, and we got a hi, hi, Danny. hi, Gary, 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 
Um, <laughs> Hi, Dad. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, thanks for everyone for being here. Dennis. Thanks hardcore. for staying awake for us, man. Thanks for staying awake for us. We had extreme technical difficulties, as in we didn't have technical. <laughs> we because did. I left my entire laptop and set up and everything that I needed to bring at home. This is sticky. So we attempted to use... Yeah, I hate that fucking wax thing from Knob Creek. Um, we had... I had to go home and then come back. Yeah. So, and I managed to do that, get everything set up and go live here. Well, we've been live for a few minutes now, but actually getting the show started was kind of difficult and getting everything good to go. So... Uh, I'd like to say thank you to Casey Minkin and Matt Tatro for our pretty bitchin' song. Heck yeah. I'm just going to keep talking while Joe's trying to open his whiskey. I, I think I'm ready. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. I can talk to so, you. Yeah. Uh, I can still talk and open it. But there you go. All right. Multitask. Apparently not. I like, I, I like it. All right. So we are live on Facebook. For those of you that are just listeners, thank you so much for downloading Heck yeah. and listening to the show. I haven't seen what we we're appreciate at appreciate it. I think the last time I looked, it was like 5,149. Dang, man. Something That's like that. Good. I don't know. I mean, I spread I spread the word a little bit every now and then, and some people check it out. Yeah. We've got some new folks listening, and we appreciate you guys. Thank Heck you yeah. so much for supporting the show uh, by listening. It, you know, just watching the downloads goes up. <laughs> it's is, fun. It's it's cool, and it's not like some crazy exponential growth. It's not anything like that. But just knowing that people are listening at all and people are enjoying the show, I'm assuming because we average about the same downloads weekly. Which is good. I mean, it's great. You know, and right. every now and then we see like, oh, we had like three new people follow the Facebook page or right. whatever, you know, little notifications I get here and there through the week. It's mm -hmm. just kind of nice. It's kind of so fun. We're not trying to be to something us. big. We're not trying yeah. to be anything. We're just two dudes that like to drink whiskey, hang out, and bullshit. So <laughs> we just decided. Be to retards. Be <laughs> retards and put it on. on For display for y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For everyone you know, to listen to. You're welcome. Yeah, we are. They are welcome. <laughs> they are. They, they are welcome. <laughs> we we slightly welcome amuse. to join us on Facebook. Get in here and yeah. watch us do this. Live. Yeah, that and we just amuse ourselves sometimes too. So you know, <laughs> it is what it is. No, not us. No. So yeah, I think uh, that's about it. Oh, subreddit. We got a subreddit. R slash uh -huh. older pod. We don't manage it. No, we don't. So. Have fun with it. If stuff goes there, it goes there. And that's we cool. barely manage Facebook. We barely manage Facebook. Right? I've been posting some things today. Joe posted some yeah. stuff. Um, tonight's show is going to be fire, as the kids fire. say, I think, still. S sounds right. And apparently Whatever. They say retard, too. Whatever. Uh, yeah, well, apparently, yeah, apparently the uh, older teens still say retard. I don't know if they say it that way. Or as much as you want. Yeah, I would like to try this. So thank you very much. Yeah, man. All right, so I guess let's get into this. What are you drinking tonight, Joe? Uh, tonight we have the Knob Creek 12-year bourbon. It's okay. uh, 100 proof. Okay. And it's one of those that's not easy to get and find, so. It's allocated? Allocated, yep. All right, I think, I don't know why they just don't call it hard to get. Hard to get. Allocated means hard <laughs> to get. So, oh, I like I, it. I need, to, I need to move my mouse. Oh, there you go. I don't want to delete Gary's text or message in that thing. Mm -mm. All right. Uh, I'm drinking the Michter Small Batch. Thanks, Joe, for providing me a bourbon tonight. <laughs> you bet That was you one buddy. of the things that Anytime. I left the house with that. I left without whiskey. I left without the computer. I left without my headphones. Man, it was just a bad start. A terrible, terrible start. But we made a trip out and of it. And here we fun. are. Yeah, we did. Oh, dude, the trip was interesting. <laughs> so I, too, good. am going to have some Knob Creek. Oh, yeah. Uh, before I, I have the Mictors. I know what Mictors taste like. I have not had Knob Creek 12 years, so. Let's do it, man. I'll have a little bit of goodness. Mm, yum, yum. Yummy, yum, yum. Oh, let me put the lid on before yeah. it fucking knocks. Something. Yeah, I know your ass will knock. Oh, don't do it. Don't push down too hard right here. Why? You're going to flip the whole setup and then we'll no. start over again again. <laughs> that would suck. That would suck. All right, well, cheers, right, Joe. Cheers, buddy. I love these glasses. They're pretty sweet. Hmm. That's different. It's good though. I, mean, I really like that. What is this? Uh... Oh yeah, thanks, Danny, for the who's, cool glasses again. Who's Knob Creek? Is that Jim B? Jim, I think Jim. I think, yeah. And... I think you're right. <clears throat> but uh, it's good. It's not too like hot. 
It's kind of a little almost I'm getting vanilla. A lot of vanilla. Yeah, at the end. Yeah. For sure. It's in the breath. It's a breathy. Vanilla breath. All right. That's well. That's interesting. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know what else to say about the whiskey. It is delicious. I don't like to sit here and dwell on it, but I am very, very happy with how that for a hundred proof. Mm-hmm. That's pretty smooth for a hundred proof. And now I'm getting like a nice chest warmth. Mm-hmm. It's like getting a hug. It's that first swallow, man. Nature's hug. Nature's hug. Nature's hug. I like it. Bourbon. <laughs> Get you some. Get you some. <laughs> we, we we maybe we need to oh. Uh, we need another whiskey commercial. Oh, yeah, maybe. All right. Well, maybe we'll just insert it here. And thanks. Great. All right. <laughs> thanks for listening to the commercial. I hope you guys, uh, well, I don't know, drink some fucking whiskey. <laughs> and I hope Rob added it. Yeah. <laughs> Post-production. It'd be super, <laughs> super. Uh, I don't know. I think, honestly, we've done it before. Honestly, I know, dude. And I think it's like the funniest fucking thing in the world. Because like, and I'll just insert it here. <laughs> and then there's like no, and then, and then it's like, okay. commercial here, <laughs> and, and it just doesn't happen. So maybe people are expecting that there's like real commercials. Oh, uh, maybe. Maybe. Like, oh, they must be all caught up on their ad space. So <laughs> I didn't get the commercial. It could if be. It happens on podcasts, you know. It does. Yeah, that's funny though. <laughs> Oh man, we we don't make any money, so no, we just make it, our own shit up anyway. So. Shit up, it's too funny. It's all fun. All right. Uh, well, I think we're through all the intro stuff, and mm -hmm. we did our whiskey stuff. I'm gonna have another swig, and then I think we can get into the what if. I like it. Mm. You guys should enjoy the what if tonight, or so, if you're listening. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be good. It sounds good. You want me to say it, or you want to say it? Sorry, I was enjoying another swig. Dude, that's like smooth for a hundred proof. I, I, I need to get a bottle of that. Yeah, you can have as much as you want tonight. Oh, I'll just take it with me. Okay. Um, <laughs> no, Wait, but I do have another one. No, but seriously, I I know you do. Um, it's last it's an older one though, different batch I think probably. Hmm. So it might be different. Uh, maybe it's hashtag older batch. Hashtag older batch. Hashtag older batch. Not to be confused with hashtag older bitch. older bitch. That ain't bad either. All right. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there later. We'll get there later. Um <laughs> What a what a fucking joke. All right. Yeah, dude. We'll get into the concert in a little mm -hmm. bit. But in the meantime, referencing concerts, we have a good what if tonight. Oh yeah. And the what if is uh fitting. Okay. So ladies, if there's ladies that listen, uh you know I'm sure we sit here and just fucking mansplain everything. And that's okay, but we if don't, you're we still don't listening, have a whole lot of lady listeners, but you know, I mean, and, according to Facebook, we do like, it's more guys, but well, yeah, I mean the, the demographic and the topics, we're not exactly talking about like Taylor Swift or anything. On here. <laughs> right. But if we did, we would be referencing like, what if I took off my underwear and threw it on stage at a Taylor Swift concert? What if guys did that? That would be fucking strange. It <laughs> But could you why imagine is it not going a to a concert like so? So Kelly went to the Shania Twain concert last week. Uh huh. Did chicks throw their underwear up there? I don't know. Because that but would be I really think weird. it would be exceptionally hilarious if there's a bunch of dudes just, just chucking up front boxers row for Shania <laughs> whitey Twain, tidies. throwing up whitey tighties <laughs> and whatever fucking stuff they're wearing. How would that even happen? I think you just bring an extra pair of underwear, or make sure you already wore them though. You don't want to be throwing up some clean stuff that you got like. That's just a waste. You, you already cleaned it. If you really well, want, you could support me and order from Joe's Underwear Emporium. Joe's Underwear Emporium. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, you can get my used underwear and throw them up there. You wouldn't even have to take yours off. Right. Sweet. Welcome back to the show. Thanks for listening to our ad on Joe's Underwear Emporium. Uh, it, they, they are <laughs> sponsoring, you know, whatever lady concerts are out there. So, yeah. you know, feel free to check it out. We should create a fake website for Joe's Underwear Emporium. Dude, that would be fun. Mm-hmm. I don't know hard. if we can get one for free or not. Mm. Probably a lame Cost one. money to get what? Maybe like a .net. We have we have a website creator guy. Do we? Yeah. Who? So my dad does for a living. He, he then what the fuck have Bellevue, we been doing? Bellevue website for Bellevue University. He writes can he build us a shit. website? We know. haven't even asked. No, we haven't. Okay. Don't but like anyway. that. So, <laughs> so, but I think honestly, dude, 
I, you just bring some used underwear to you'd probably get whatever kicked out. lady concert. Why would you get kicked out? Security would throw your ass out for throwing you'd be, underwear. You'd be fucking naked standing Dude, there until you pull your you pants bring back a, up. You bring an extra pair. Oh, okay. You just have them in your pocket. And then when you get up there, you're like front Woo! row. You push your way up to the front, you know, like the massles were doing the other day. <laughs> push your way up to the front, and you just huck your fucking skid marks to the stage. Yep. Like, there might be a little pee dribble in there. I don't know. I, I didn't wash them. I didn't wash them because I, I'm not going to throw clean laundry. <laughs> no. That's a huge waste. Right. They don't like that. No. no they, they want they it dirty and they smelly. They smell that funk. <laughs> smell that cheese from Munda. Smell that from Munda. Yeah, from Munda cheese. Yeah, <laughs> we got the funk. <laughs> Gotta have that funk. Ow. Yeah. Yep. So, I think that'd be absolutely probably the most ridiculous thing I could ever see at a concert. Is a dude throwing his underwear? Dude, just a bunch of dudes. <laughs> just. I mean, you don't really see that at, at concerts you know, like, much anymore. That I get. I mean, because I guess. I, why do women throw their underwear on stage? I don't understand that either. Like, give me that rock star I mean, dick. I don't know. know like, I, send us a message if you, if you know why. Yeah, dude. We don't know. I mean, maybe Which, post. You know, you can comment on the video. Word. After the fact. So if you watch the video after the fact on Facebook, comment. We're just kind of curious as to why women throw their underwear on mm -hmm. stage. What do you expect to happen? Do you expect that you're the finest bitch out there and that rock star or maybe wannabe rock star is just going to select you out of a crowd. And like, oh, you threw your underwear up here. You Let's threw go. Your underwear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're in. You seem like the safest bet tonight. It's a backstage pass, man. Mm. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, come on. I don't know. All I'm not, access. Dude, I'm not a rock star, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I think that would be just weird. Like, if you're up on stage. You, oh, and to top it off, do you think those rock stars just have, like, a closet full of other women's underwear? They might. Like, uh, fuck it, guys, just keep it. Throw it in a box. We'll put it lost and found. Just got a chest. You got a lost and found in your house. Yeah. <laughs> in case they come back. Or it just stays on the tour bus. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you need some underwear? Well, there's some from, oh, yeah. like, two cities ago. You can pick, what size are you? Pick your poison. They're dirty. Yeah. I mean, you might want to wash them. We just, we just keep it locked up in an airtight trunk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some funky ass underwear. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. So... <laughs> 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 so yeah I, I i thought the what if was kind of funny and i thought yeah. about it because i was watching some youtube video or something of a concert and like women were throwing their their brawls up on the stage and stuff and i was like hmm, what, what if, if dudes do that what if did dudes did that <laughs> not the brawls part not brawls no like their underwear right <laughs> i mean if dudes but are wearing dudes bras, are bras whatever you know <laughs> sometimes you got moves you could like do, uh, you, Bob, Bob and uh, Fight Club. Your undershirt, your tank top. Bob, Bob has bitch tits. Bob did. Poor meat Bob. Loaf. Mm. Poor meatloaf. Mm -hmm. Just oh, your tank top like a like a like a beater. Yeah. Like, you could get away with that, I think. As like a bra. As a bra. just almost throw your white beater up on. I don't know the underwear. Is just that is the only guy equivalent more. I could think. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But anyway, that makes sense. underwear makes more sense. Mm -hmm. Right, but you gotta have it in your pocket. Otherwise, you're pulling your pants down and letting your schlong hang out in the middle of a fucking crowd, and that might be frowned upon. So you get kicked out. You can make like breakaway underwear. Wow, oh, there you go. Hmm. We'll have to sell it at the Emporium. Mm hmm. Fresh though. You know that wasn't a part For of the concerts. whole like spiel with Joe's Underwear Emporium, though. It wasn't. No, because you go all... like I, I, you know, I kind of rapid fire. Right. And through through a bunch All of different types of underwear. Yeah. Nike. Uh, Nike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Whatever that is. Um <laughs> that's so dumb. No, but like breakaway underwear, I didn't even think about that. I mean, I, we went to I even I even thought of crotchless granny panties. Right. And I just can't didn't think of breakaway. I didn't think of breakaway panties. Would've breakaway been, underwear. Break you know, would have been sweet. Know. But hey. Uh <laughs> I was like, you know, the, the 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 trick to us having not a three hour show tonight is to stick to the show sheet. Well, you know, that's all right. Here we I, are. You know how I am with my tangential brain. It happens. That's what the what ifs about. Yeah, we just absolutely brain warm up, and okay. here we are. So, let's move along then. Do it. Have you ever tried to sell something on Facebook Marketplace? <laughs> all the time. Okay. How how did we talk about your catch sale on here? Yeah, I think we, we did on the, on the show. 
I don't know. I know we I talked talk, about it. We did talk about it. But I don't... So you just got low ball after low ball after low ball. Oh, yeah. Big you, time. You had a love sack couch, which and was not a cheap couch. The lowest I got was $2,000. I was like, get out of here. <laughs> For a love sack couch. Yeah. That was not $2,000. It was like... 2,000 times five. <laughs> barely used. <laughs> Bare, lightly. Right. Very lightly used. It was brand new almost. Yeah. And I mean, you guys... You vacuum your your furniture a lot because mm-hmm. you got cats and stuff. Mm-hmm. So like it's, it gets taken care of. Uh, so I recently have been trying to sell my enclosed trailer, and that's brand new, less than a year old, less than probably hundred miles on it. Oh maybe, no, it's maybe been it's back more that. It's been back and forth PA a lot. Oh yeah, okay, right. So still. like four, three or four trips back and forth, something mm-hmm. like that. Um. So, I mean, it's got some miles on it, but they're not hard miles. No. Like, that's just cruising, you know <laughs> what I mean? Right. Interstate miles. Yeah. And so I, I had it listed for 5000 Now, I paid about 1000 more mm-hmm. new for that thing. Certain things I don't want to buy used. Right. Just because, like, I don't know if somebody took care of it. True. So that's why I bought the trailer. No. Vehicles are one for... The most part. You know, I like to buy a new vehicle now that yeah. I can buy a new vehicle. Right. I just bought a used vehicle, though. I traded in. Unless you can get some sort of certified. Well, right. And I traded in the Odyssey <clears throat> for the Edge. Which Whatever. is not new. but No, but it had very low miles and yeah. it was very well taken care of. Perfect. So, it's fine. Anyway, back to selling stuff on Facebook Marketplace. I tried to sell this fucking trailer and I had it listed for five grand. And the guy said, I got $2,000 cash. <laughs> okay, you can keep it. So I messaged him back and said, hey, man, I'm not in a hurry to sell it. Save up some more money. Yeah. And then come at me when you can get close to $5,000. I didn't get a response. <laughs> Fuck them. <clears throat> I got multiple, multiple offers for like $2,500. And I was like, that's half price. Man. I don't, I don't need to sell it. Right. So I messaged him like, I don't need to sell the trailer. Right. I just. I'm not in a hurry. It and doesn't need, it doesn't even, I don't even need to sell it. I don't care. It's, that's a more than a $2,500 trailer. That's almost brand freaking new. It's a carry on too. So it's like, a, it's like, <clears throat> it did the license the, transfer. The better with it? Tra- yeah, everything transfers with it. Like, so you're, li- you're forever license plate or whatever. That's yeah, yeah. License. It does, yeah. right? So then well, he just Virginia has to take anyway. the title to the DMV. Mm. So yeah, that's, yeah. I took care of the guy, dude. I took care of him. The guy that bought Sale it. Sale price, $100. Nice. Yeah. On your sale price. You ain't yeah. paying fucking. I was like, buddy, I don't want you to pay a bunch of taxes on this if you don't have to. So here you go. hundred bucks. Nice. That's what's up. Yeah. He's like, thanks, man. Like yeah. the, uh, I like, help him at the, the fucking courthouse. Yeah. He's going to have to pay like two bucks or something, you know? So. A bill of sale. That's what it's called. Yeah. <clears throat> and that that's that's fine. But so yeah, he'll, the low ball it out. shit, so, dude. Right. So, so what I wound up doing after the thing was on listed for about a month and a half is I wound up uh, lowering the price to mm-hmm. forty five hundred, and then I had people offer me less, like two grand again. This one guy was trying to 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 buy it, and he's like, "Hey, let me know," and I was like, "Okay, like, hey, I sold it, or mm-hmm. whatever." Eventually, but he there's another guy that wanted to buy it, and he was going to pay forty five hundred. But I said, "Hey, somebody else is already wanting it. Let me <clears> make <throat> sure if that doesn't go through. Cool. If not, cool. Like, then I'll let you know." In it. So I went up selling to a guy that lives like, oh wait, like wait, West wait. Point. Yeah. So I was like, he's like, hey, do you want to meet? You want to meet and tap a hand? We meet at the Walmart. <laughs> and I was like, sure, sure. He's like, Did that how he talked? Yeah. He's like, let me tell you, man, I'm a trucker. I was like, okay. <laughs> he said, I got me a '97 Harley Davidson that I'm gonna put in that trailer. And I was like, cool, dude. I said, you're gonna need to put a couple tie downs in there in the floor. Said it's only got like two and they're up against the one side, just like if you have a mattress or something. Mm-hmm. He's like, Yeah, man, that's how most of them are. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and I was like, Okay. So, you know, I talked to the guy a couple times and then he's like, How you want how you want cash? And I was like, actually I'd like a cashier's check. So cause that's a lot of money to just like hope that your cash is good. Real. But real, yeah. That's fair. <clears throat> so he's like, All right, man. Amy. This man said he don't want no cash. 
<laughs> She's like, that's fine. I'll go to the bank on Monday. I was like, oh boy. This man said he don't want no cash. Yeah. <laughs> so what had happened was, and he told me this like, while he was taking delivery of the trailer on the 4th of July at the Walmart. <laughs> he said, hey man, I got... He said, I get, I gave you cash. And I was like, I, I know. know. I said, but I don't know you. Right. And he's like, I know. And I got to thinking about it. And I was like, he's right. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay. Right. He had explained it to you. Right. And then he told me, he's like, I hit the lottery like two years ago for $272,000. And I was like, cool, Smart man. I I was like, Congratulations. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. He said, I ain't put one dime of it in the bank. I took cash <laughs> and it's in my house. And I was like, why are you telling me this? <laughs> right? Like, this, is, this guy's interesting. He said, I keep it all in my house. And I was like, okay. I said, you know, that much money can m make you a lot of money. Right. I said, you, you should be investing that money. Right. He said, I don't trust the banks, man. Our money's just going to go. It's going to be gone. I was like, cash is going to be zero value if the banks go under. Right. So, so your, your, your hard cash will not matter. <clears throat> mm -hmm. He's like, no way. And I was like, oh. <laughs> dude, I'm not going to explain this, this guy, to you. I got to get shit to do. I was do. like, hey, man, my kid threw up on the way here. I need to get into Walmart and get into That's funny. All right, man, I get it. I get it. All right. I'm just going to load it up. And uh, I was like. A He's cool a trucker dude. making a delivery. He's dude, used yeah, to that and shit. I mean, he, that guy, he easily had 100 pounds on me. Mm. Big dude. Big dude. And uh, that's the first time I concealed carry. Nice. I just want to be safe. And, you know, my buddy, uh, Gary, Gary went with mm -hmm. me for a ride down. He's like, Anthony started throwing up. He's like, is he throwing up? I was like, yep. <laughs> At least it's <laughs> <good>. like, <laughs> At least it smelled good. It smelled good. That's how, that's how I said earlier. Like, At least it smelled good, right? It just smelled like fucking berries and shit because he had a smoothie. Oh, perfect. So, yeah. The best throw up. Berries. Yeah, yeah. So, it, it literally didn't smell. It 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 smelled like I had fruit. Yeah. It, it, smelled like it didn't smell bad at all. And I was like, this is pretty sweet. So, it wasn't that bad. But anyway, my Facebook Marketplace experience has been rather ridiculous. Oh, dude, it's always ridiculous, especially around here. Dude, yeah. Uh, oh, and I, I was talking to a guy about a, fo about a fox body a couple months ago. Mm-hmm. I think you told me this. Yeah, and I, I was like, hey, man, like this is kind of where I'm at because they have issues. I know they all have these issues. There's stuff I'm going to have to replace. Right. And I'm well aware of that, and that's something I'm going to need to spend money on. And then he just said no. No. Oh. So I said, okay, like where are you at? Like yeah. what are you thinking for money? Because like, I got a cap. And he said something like not there. He didn't even say. Oh. He didn't say shit. Mm. This is a different guy. Didn't say shit. Didn't even respond to me. I was like, well, well I'm fucking... <laughs> Sucks, sucks to suck, nerd. If that guy, I, I, I would have paid for this car. Yeah, not now. Fuck him. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to respond to me? Well, too bad. I mean, I hope he's alive. <laughs> but, but fuck uh, him. Fuck, fuck him selling that car. Fuck, fuck him. Yeah, no more selling. So that Facebook car. Marketplace, and the people are like, "Come on, man, it's a used trailer." But I'm like, dude, dude, the, it's like every, brand new used. Like the fucking spots are still on the side of the tires. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. People, there's, there's zero damage to the trailer. I put furniture in it. They just want, yeah, next to, they want to pay nothing for things on Marketplace. Yeah, it's awful. So I thank the guy then, once we were done with our transaction, I was like, hey, man, thanks for like the best Facebook Marketplace experience I've ever had. He's like, you too, man. I appreciate your honesty. And I appreciate, and I was like, <laughs> I know. And then he was like trying to tell so me a story. And then that's what that's. people. Yeah, he was okay. He was good. And that's fine. It doesn't really happen that often, though. So when I sold the couch, I kept getting super lowball mm -hmm. offers and all that crap. And then some lady was like, well, get back to me if you want to sell it for $2,000. I'm like, I won't. Just, yeah, I won't. <laughs> and then... Uh, don't, don't worry. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I won't. <laughs> you know what? Do me a favor. Hold your breath. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stay how long it lasts. Yeah, yeah. Um, nope, keep holding. Keep holding. But like, I ended up using Venmo with them, and it worked out just fine. Oh, yeah. And I think that's, that's how cool. they paid me. I, you know, he just didn't sound like the kind of guy that was going to have Venmo. Yeah, he probably wouldn't have. He'd been like, Venmo? What's Especially that? Especially after hearing that he keeps $200 plus thousand dollars in cash house. in his house. Yeah, I mean, okay, you know who dude. else does that, right? No. Drug lords. 
but mm. they keep a lot more. I wonder if he's he's a trucker driving around cocaine. <laughs> there you go. Just, like, I just hide in my load, man. Yeah. That's good for you, dude. All right. So mm. that, that's it. Anyway, Facebook Marketplace, interesting fucking place to be. But it's a, uh, I guess I don't know. It works most time. It shouldn't. You're right. I've had better experiences using Craigslist to sell things. Yeah. Is that even a site still? It is. I put some shit on there and then I didn't realize, or I put the couch on there too. Oh, yeah. And I forgot I had done it. <laughs> and the emails were piling up. And I'm like, oh, whoops. This sold. <laughs> were people offering you like the right amount of money too? Uh uh-uh. uh. Oh, low balls. <laughs> all low balls. Yeah. Oh. So I was like, well, that sucks. But I hate the auto thing. I like, like, is this still available on Facebook? Yeah. That's like your auto response when you're messaging somebody for something. Mm. And then, like, I like the Facebook one, though, a little better because you can actually see the person and kind of know who yeah. you're going to meet. Where Craigslist is completely uh, anonymous, right? Like, you don't complete... know who you're going to go see. Yeah, no idea. Yeah. But well, where Facebook, you can actually look at their like, profile and be like, okay, these you are... You could wind up in a well having <laughs> to put lotion on your skin. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> these people are sane, I think. They look fine. Their pictures all look like they're normal people. Let's yeah, go. like, go to their profile. Yeah. I'm like, this person doesn't even have their profile locked down. Like, right. They, they're harmless. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. They don't care who sees what they do. But it was, like, weird. The, the person who bought mine, it was, like, a weird, uh, <clears throat> like, foreign name. So I was like... There's a lot of that, dude. Well, a lot of people like that. Mm-hmm. So, so I was sketchy about it, but he turned out to be just, like, a younger dude, and he was cool. Yeah, so, I mean, there's a lot of uh, Middle Eastern... Yeah, no. Uh, guys, whatever, families and stuff that have moved to, like, Fredericksburg and mm-hmm. places in the area. So, like, it's... Especially, like, Northern VA. There's all them oh, up there. It's like, a crazy. Lot. It's yeah. a lot. And it's whatever. Yeah. Some of them are, like, refugees and other shit right. like that. And they just kind of... Virginia landed and on that. Around here, yeah. That, I mean... <clears throat> but Lucky them, but... I guess thanks, government. Right. Um, so, yeah, you know, at least uh, warm and inviting. Sure. <laughs> For the most but, part. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Most of them seem, they come here, they get, they figure out how to get jobs, and they, they insert themselves into the, into society. That's they don't how, cause problems. That's how immigration is supposed to work. I'm not yeah. getting on it. Stick nope. to the show sheet, Rob. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't so know what that was speaking, about. Speaking of things, okay, the next thing on our show sheet is vegan leather cover. Mm-hmm. So it's a it's a pl- it was a planner on the Price is Right a planner, okay. It was one of the things when people have to pick the 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 price of the thing with the four people and they all bid, okay, to see what the you know and whoever's closest gets to go up on stage and play the fucking game. So the prize was a vegan leather cover planner. How does vegan leather work? Uh, well, it's it's faux leather. Okay. It's just not made from animal. <clears throat> so it could be plastic. It could be fucking anything. But because it's got they vegan, co- I'm guessing uh, the price was high. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a, a planner, like a fucking planner like you would take to work. Uh-huh. If you were a business type person that needed a planner. And then if you buy it halfway through the year, you're fucked because you only get a half a year worth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you get a little bit a couple months into 2024 or, you know, whatever the <clears throat> next year might be. Uh, mm-hmm. Vegan. That's how they described it. Vegan leather. Why not say faux? What happened to that? Faux leather. Because it says vegan, they can charge more. Is that so? Probably. Okay. So said vegan leather because cover vegan's like the planner. Term. I think it was something like four hundred dollars for some synthetic leather. For yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but just I mean... the absurdity of calling it vegan <laughs> leather. Oh, I got a vegan leather chair downstairs. Bro, I'm wearing a vegan leather shirt. <laughs> Sitting on a vegan leather couch. Couch. Is it leather? Doesn't matter. It says no. vegan. Yeah. Le- it's not actually it leather. It makes it sound if expensive. It's not from a fucking animal. Right. You should <laughs> call it leather. Don't call it leather. I mean, plants I mean, don't vinyl. make plants don't make this type of shit. Maybe bamboo stuff. Mm. Cloth things are made from bamboo, and that's about it. That's true. Cotton. That's a plant, also. So, I have Cotton. a vegan leather shirt on. Ooh, no animals were harmed. Look at me, I'll model. Mm. <laughs> For that those of you just listening, you're missing. <clears throat> that just instantly upped the price of that shirt, dude. This this shirt is 
easily a thousand dollars. That's a vegan now. cotton shirt. Let's open a vegan, uh, vegan clothing store, and just sell normal shit. New commercial. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I'm putting it in there. We have so many commercials. We got to record yet. Okay. Oh, we got to do our douchiness too. The douchiness. <clears throat> Was there? Did I miss something? Oh, that's the 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 douche segment. scale. Yeah. Douche scale. Do we have a, something for the douche scale? That we can pick it. Okay, cool. I got a thing that goes with our theme. All like right, what we're gonna talk about later? Oh, the <gasps> concert, dude. Tons of douches. Tons of douches. You know who's a douche? Okay. Anyway, let's. Yeah, we'll get there. Okay, drive through. What oh, is this, I put Joe? that one. Yeah. All right. Uh, hold on. What was a vegan products? <laughs> v vegan clothing store. All right, it's in the in the show sheet notes for that. So I bet an online vegan clothing store would kill it. Yeah, it probably would. It probably would because, like, like I said, vegans like the hip thing, right? Do we could just do we just go to Goodwill, <laughs> buy a bunch of used shirts, and be like they're vegan, <laughs> and just have them say like old weird shit on them or whatever. Whatever, dude. It could be like <clears throat> uh, retro vegan clothing store dot net. And you just sell that shit for twice, three times, four yeah, times dude, the price. Yeah, you buy a shirt yeah. for two or three bucks, sell it for fifty. Done. Psh. What a business model. That's awesome. Is actually. it gluten free? Absolutely, it's gluten free. Uh, That's funny. <laughs> oh, gluten free vegan clothes. Oh man, I like it. I don't know if my shirt's gluttonous or not. Don't but care. That I'm is gluten free. I highly doubt there's wheat in my shirt. Yeah, there's probably. cotton. Probably not wheat. Probably not. Probably wheat. not wheat. No. So on here I put uh, the drive-through. Is it an East Coast thing? Oh yeah, yeah. What's that about? So like, if you go through a drive-through, so people are just not friendly in the drive-through. In my experience around here, like you go through for the most part, the Define majority the people, have, like the people running the drive-through that are working they, at the establishment, they take your order and they're mm -hmm. just like, okay, is that all? Okay. Yeah, they got and a it's fucking not, job to do. Move it along, Joe. It's not busy. It's not for chit chat. I understand that, but it's just the 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 attitude in their voice. It depends. Maybe, maybe they think you're being a dick. No way. I never am when I order shit. I'm like, hey, how how you doing or whatever? And they say, Joe, you know, Joe is never a dick. Okay, he's just never not. He has no, I he am. has good bedside manner with everybody he meets. <laughs> you wrong? Am I? Yeah. No, oh, not everybody. Not all the time. You just don't talk. A lot of times don't I want don't. To. Right. Correct. Right. That's, I just You're say, not openly a dick to people. Not really. No. No, I am. Right. <laughs> Sometimes. It, if it's warranted. Right. If and, it's warranted. And that's fair. I'm just not afraid to say some shit. I'm not saying you are. It's just my type of personality. Yeah, dude. Joe does want to be wined and dined and 69 in the drive thru. You know it. So, anyway, I just try to be friendly and then you just get the. Okay, what else? Or and then they try to cut you off all the time. It's like, is that it? I'm like, no, let me finish, fucker. Well, most people don't say, and that's all. No, I do. I just keep talking. Yeah, I, I kind of have to think. I guess start doing. Oh, <laughs> I I try to keep talking. Let me because yeah. sometimes I get a little like, uh, can I get a, you know, whatever the McDonald's thing uh, was. Can I get a. Uh, uh, yeah. Can I get a? So, sometimes I do that because I'm like, I, I want this, but like, I get there and mm, maybe I don't. <sighs> Fuck it, chicken sandwich. I usually get the same thing every time, so it depends on where I'm at, man. Well, yeah, I mean, every, I every place I get something every. The same. Well, every time I go to Wendy's, I usually get something different. Oh, okay. Do you like Wendy's? Yeah, Wendy's nuts in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we'll get to that later too. <laughs> what Wendy's? Oh yeah, yeah, dude. We have a we have a whole we, fucking we have a whole lot to talk about. A whole that. lot to yeah. talk about. We had some with, fun with, though. with with the uh, our, our our recent but like excursion to Virginia Beach. So so back back home. I mean, my experience had always been you know people are real friendly and just like you know I don't know. It's just uh, like we've talked about here. People are just so rude in the stores to you and don't. Yeah, it's a northeast like, thing. Yeah. I mean, don't 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 mistake like promptness for rudeness for rudeness. That's fair. Or bluntness, I should say. Like, just I don't remember. Honestly, what... if people being blunt comes off as dickish, 
And it's just like, they don't say have a good day. They what? just give you your food. and Maybe they don't give a fuck yeah. about your day. I, I, I don't know. I mean, they don't say anything. You come up and they're like, so that's my Northeast. Five ninety nine. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe like, they don't give a fuck about it. Yeah. Actually, it's probably more like eight something. So or what's whatever. weird is, I, I, I know what you're talking about. But when I go through the drive throughs like in Dahlgren and stuff, mm -hmm. and they get they take my order, and I'll look at the screen, and if it's right, I'm like, hey, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And they're like, happy to help. Usually is something like, that's what huh. I get. I'll take a happy to help. Or my pleasure. If you're, my pleasure. If you're going Sometimes to, that uh, happens. Chick-fil-A. Sure. Yeah, Chick-fil-A. My <laughs> pleasure. Yeah. That's kind of weird. Right. Um, you're preparing chicken. <laughs> I'm glad it's pleasurable for you. Glad Thanks. it's pleasurable. Absolutely. But... I know what you're talking about. And sometimes, dude, if there's no line, that doesn't hurt to like be polite. But a lot of these people hate their fucking job, too. And I don't blame them. It's hard to be happy when you're sitting there with assholes coming through the drive through all day yelling at you about your fucking order. Or their order being wrong. Or you not hearing them because the system that your company has provided you is a piece of shit. True. Or like, you ever go to the Taco Bell KFC in Dahlgren? All you can't hear any fucking thing they say. And because the hill's there. So all the trucks come down the fucking hill, Jake brake on. Right. Right. Or there's a truck going up the hill loud as shit because it's a diesel and it's a big ass hill this thing's on. Yeah. And then That's these the worst, assholes, yeah. their menu is so vast because it's KFC talk about the print is like half half font size. Uh-huh. And it's super I I have good vision and I can't read that fucking <laughs> menu. I don't wear glasses. And it's just like, and I can't read. You got to specify yet. whether it's the T, whatever. Uh, K oh yeah, yeah. I, I went up. I ordered number ten the other day. <laughs> they were like, "Is that?" She's like, "KFC or Taco Bell?" And I was like, "Taco oh, Bell." <laughs> the number ten from KFC is trash. <laughs> <laughs> and then she just laughed. Yeah. So it's, whatever. I don't even remember what it was. Hey you girl. Know, but hey girl. <laughs> That's funny. More Virginia Beach antics. <laughs> Shit. Um, <laughs> that just reminded me of that for some so reason. So, yeah, the drive through stuff, dude, I get it. It's just weird. Uh, do you want to be polite? Like, do, do you feel like they have to be polite to you? I mean, I think it's good customer it's, service. It's good customer Are service. Are you going to tip them? No. Then but, who fucking cares? I don't know. It's just something it about just it. It bugs to you? Me. Yeah, it bugs me. All it's right. just like, be polite. Yeah. And don't be like, so, uh, you're fucking so ruining you, my you time. Need one, you need one of these. That one. That one. We, we always did the song again. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, that one. Yeah. Imagine if you just had like a buzzer. <laughs> Not like, thank you. <laughs> like, what was that noise? Like, you didn't say thank you or you're welcome. You didn't say shit. You were just like, okay. It's usually just throw your food at you. That's 568 first window. Mm-hmm. Mm, all right. But then when you get to the window, there's like 568. Some places they'll be like, oh, hey, how you doing? It depends on who's at the window, man. Some yeah. people just have zero personality. Maybe. Then don't do that shit. Sometimes, you know job. what? Like, kill them with <clears throat> kindness, dude. Kill them with kindness. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. You it's could even say to them, like, hey, I hope you have a good day. And that may change everything for them. Maybe they'll be polite to everyone after you. Maybe. Probably not. Probably not. But, but you never know. That I could mean, save I'm someone's polite, life. So. But hey, thank you. I, well, appreci I appreciate your efforts. Mm hmm Maybe. You never know. You're doing a damn good job. Have you a good could day. stop them from jumping off a bridge by giving them a compliment. You never know. You're right. You could. Just kill them with kindness, like you say. You know, they could stop you from jumping off a bridge by saying, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. I would go fucking jump off a bridge because they were so mean to me <laughs> in the drive thru uh, I'm sorry, it sucks. dude. sucks. <laughs> <laughs> that guy didn't say thank you. I'm jumping off this bridge. Oh my gosh. Man. Fuck it. I'm sorry. It ain't worth living. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> I just got a bunch of balls about it. Suicide's not not funny, but it's it's not. Mm-hmm. Talking about my, my you who earlier. <laughs> oh. Yeah. You who Jew who Spanish. I don't know if I can say it. I don't know if I can Spanish say it. Spanish person. I think it smells burnt. It tastes burnt. <laughs> you did. Okay, anyway. <laughs> I, I can edit it out. I you probably can. won't, but I can edit it out. <laughs> Facebook can't. Mm. So, yeah. Ever. like uh, 
you know, I will, I will, I will go to the chat real quick. Dennis asked if you tell your patients to have a good day after you sew up their anal fissure. <laughs> Always, man. It's like, polite. hey, man, have a good day. Have a good day. Uh, it's usually more like, hey, you I did... saw your butthole. No, it's more <laughs> usually like, hey, you did good in there. Have a good day. <laughs> I was asleep. <laughs> yeah, perfect. It's like everything yeah. went good. Thanks for not shitting on me. <laughs> yeah. hey, that does happen. Oh, tailpipe repair, huh? We're going to talk about tailpipes now. Mm. Okay, maybe it's a super super rude tailpipe time. <laughs> it's just there's so, so much, that much happened fun in the last three days. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. What else we got on here? Uh, funerals suck and aren't cheap. Oh yeah, dude. Like, uh, okay. I guess we're gonna get a little a little downer here before okay. we get back uppers. Uh, so recently Amber's grandpa passed away, so we had to make a trip home. Yeah. For that to Nebraska. Um, <clears throat> and it's hard to be the one that has to like do everything and plan everything. It's so hard when you like, I guess are kind of like our age, I know, and yeah. we're not ready for it, not used to it kind of thing. And like, so for Amber, right. well, normally like was... your parents would be doing that for your grandparents. Right. But in this case, there's no real parents involved kind of i mean she could have done things but she's just her her mom was just kind of so clueless about things and Mm. she she tried she did all she could but uh amber had to do a lot of it but um it just was hard because like her grandparents were more like parents to her than her parents i guess uh so they kind of helped raise her a lot and right bring her up and did a lot for her uh so it's like with her grandma, we realized that funerals are expensive as shit. I yes, mean, they are. Even to get cremated was ridiculous expensive, and then you got to buy the urn, and then you got to pay for all the other shit with the funerals. And yeah, man, it's, it, it it adds up quick too. It it sucks that everybody's sad, right? And everybody's just mopey and like. But you still have to do all somber, that. and you still have to do all that. But There's I'm talking no about like the actual to, funeral thing, like with the church, the service, everything like that. So Amber was like, I don't want any of this shit for my funeral. She's like, I want a Louisiana style funeral where they go out and dance and sing in the streets and celebrate you, right? Celebrate celebration of life instead <clears throat> yeah. of being all down and depressed and crying you know what, man? at the service kind of thing. I'm like, hell this yeah. This isn't anything like, new. Let's with, go out and with, have a party. Human human nature. No, I mean it's natural. That's the natural progression it... of uh grief, right? Is Right, I get it. You have to grieve. You're going to be sad. You're going to cry. But do that all on the side, and then you have a big celebration. Like, oh, this person's finally happy, healthy, whatever, in the afterlife. Right. You know? They're not here suffering or whatever anymore. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, her grandpa wasn't suffering. It was like a kind of a surprise thing. So, it was pretty sad. In a way, like, that's kind of better. Yeah, kind of. Like, I don't know. I guess he went on his own time and his own terms, and yeah, he was at home by himself. So, yeah. Well, damn. Mm. But it was crazy because we had just talked to him the day before and we FaceTimed with him because my dad, brother, and Jax went there because Jax was back in Omaha oh, hanging out so, for the oh, summer. So, to see him. so they went over there for Father's Day and hung out with him mm. and mowed his lawn and stuff like that. And yeah. then we got to kind of see him. He got to see Jax. And then the next day he passed away. He was taking out the trash. Wow, man. Mm-hmm. It was sad. So so as, as, the, uh, as the older people <clears throat> in our lives start to pass... We're going to have to start doing that. And... Well, there's that, right? But I'm also kind of realizing, like, I probably haven't been taking advantage of my life the way I should. Yeah. And appreciating <laughs> appreciating the, the people around me mm-hmm. and the potential for life experiences that I'm just not doing. That's fair. You just got to kind of... Because you never know when it's going to happen. Right. You never know when anybody's going to go. Right. And that's, <clears throat> it's mortality gets like very real. It's it's way more real now than it was 10 years ago. Right. You never or thought about anything like 20 that. 20 years ago. Yeah. Like, right. Like, until... it was like, I'm fucking indestructible 20 years ago. And now right. it's kind of like, oh, things hurt. I have high blood pressure. Right. I have stuff wrong with me. Yeah. It's like, I, I'm in there. I get ultrasound on my fucking thyroid. I get, I got issues, right? Uh, my thyroid's Sinuses fine. And... My thyroid's fine. Um, <laughs> yeah. anyway, it was just like precautionary. So anyway, uh, but yeah, dude, like the, the process for funerals 
and <clears throat> for the expenses and everything because nobody's prepared for that. I want like so my grandparents did it this way. The ones who are still alive today, mm -hmm. they basically set up everything. They got rid of their house already. They got all possessions to the kids, whoever wanted it, grandkids, everything like that. That's how I have that grandfather clock. That's so they're living like very minimalistic, right? Yeah, now. they're at it like a retirement facility, basically. Where That's they, good. Like yeah. a retirement community and living life and doing things there. And all they've got is what little belongings they have in their little apartment that's there. And it's a little bit sad though, too. They have their plots paid for they have their everything paid for basically and everything picked out so it's well, like that's good gonna be no sweat for the family for the most part well what that does is allow like uh, whoever has to handle it handle it a lot easier while grieving yeah. and shit because it's hard to do while you're grieving at the same time but you know things that are sudden yeah you know um and at our age we're not going to start planning our funerals now and do stuff like that no but we should yeah, it, it makes you think. I don't even have a will. I need to get something yeah, me like too, that dude. Me put too. together. I need to get one. Just, um, you never know. But like we did this with like Kelly's dad. Yeah. And luckily, like I was like, well, I'll just handle most of that stuff. And there's stuff that Kelly had to handle. Yeah. Because she was executor, things like that. Like I mm -hmm. just, I couldn't do some stuff on her behalf, you know. Right. But, um, getting the process along. And that that sucks, man. It does, Because it's hard. It, it interrupts the grieving. Right. It, it doesn't allow it, it you to really it grieve. It interrupts, like, the emotional process of it. Mm-hmm. So I will say, like, that kind of sucks, man. And it it, and it, it, it just it, it impedes the, the process. And everything's so fucking bureaucratic, dude. Like. Yeah. You know, you can't just, like. Take take your dead body to your property and bury it. That's weird. I mean, it's illegal. <laughs> my fucking property. Yeah, but I guess if you go to sell it, then somebody's got a dead person on their property, and like you have to explain that, or you know, put that in somehow the deed or whatever you put it in. Right, <laughs> but I mean, it's not like I wouldn't want to be buried on like a quarter acre lot, <laughs> you know, <laughs> right. with my house or something. <laughs> I'm just buried in, in by the, that tree in the, in the backyard. Like, here. like more land or whatever i got you yeah you know what i mean like, way out way out in the like, land or something. like farmers dude that farm farms been in their family since america yeah yeah like that's that's their family shit and then they'll have their own grave so i think graveyard, sometimes I, uh, some do yeah and i think they're just like fuck the law yeah we were here first yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> basically so uh, and i mean more power to them but i man i just the and whole process is just like everything is happening to people around me and it's happened to, to us and yeah. it's just kind of, everything's just so close to home. And the other thing that sucked about this was like the hard part, the hardest part for her was having to go through her grandma and grandpa's house, basically the house she grew up in mm. and go through everything and clear it out. And so we ended up coming back yeah, with a U-Haul full of shit. Yeah. But, well, <clears throat> in her trailer anyway. You but. made it. Yeah, and you, you got. It was just rough for her. I felt bad. It's of course. I was there. As, I mean, did as much as I could with what, it. You know? What else can you do? Right. So, but yeah, that sucks, dude. Yeah. <laughs> so. My my dad said, <laughs> he goes hardcore says when I die I want everyone to go to the drag strip and smell nitro. Fuck yeah, hardcore. Amen. We need to figure that out if we're doing that in September. Oh yeah, we need to book some stuff. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, you're right. I want to. I think it'd be a good idea. Same. We're in. He's so, in. I know that. So. I know he's in. Uh, Alex. Mustang Alex. Oh, he's in? Yeah, I think so. I think he wants okay. to go, too. Heck so, yeah. That'd be I was awesome. talking to him about it. Let's do it. Um, Plan it. All right. So, this past week, let's lighten this, let's lighten this up a <laughs> oh, little yeah. bit. Um, we went to a concert. Mm hmm We did. On Wednesday. The day after the 4th. And, well, Okay. So the story goes, we drove to Virginia Beach, got the hotel, got an Uber, went to the show. That Uber driver, man, that was nuts. <sighs> so this dude, he he pulls up. He, we're having a weird conversation about movies and futuristic things and AI, AI and all yeah. kinds of weird shit. And then he drops a bombshell. Yeah. He goes, and at my age, I, it's kind of weird that I'm doing this at my age. And he's like, I'm like 70. We're like, 
we're, both of our draws or jaws <laughs> dropped. We're like, what? I was like, Wait, he goes, hold up. Rob goes, like, hold up a minute. And he goes, you fucking 70? He goes, no well, way. 69. Yeah, he goes, I'm close. Oh, 69. I'm close. Not 70. close 70. This dude, I swore this dude was in his 50s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks so young. And he like, did look young. Healthy and, yeah, not 70 years old. He was nuts. <laughs> and this guy's been living some rough ass life, apparently. <laughs> Just like, went he didn't know horse, lost 3D all his printing shit, stuff. And... Just like, trying to figure out 3D printing. He and like, blown he's away just... by VR and, mm-hmm. yeah. And he's just like, I'm just trying to get into it. Like, I just, yeah. I'm, I want to take it all in. Yeah. And I was like, all That's right, crazy. Dude, good for you. You know, we just had a really, really strange conversation on the way. But to it was like venue. a half hour ride. So yeah. And he's like, where the hell is this place? <laughs> yeah, we're like, we don't know. It's so a we farm. We're, we're trying to figure it out with him. This, this farm, Back Bay Farms. Yeah. It's a fucking horse farm. Yep. That they turned part of their field and farm into a concert venue. And this was their very first concert. There was still horse shit in the field. Oh yeah, all over. All over. So you had to watch where you're walking. I I didn't at night, but probably should have. I didn't. I don't think I stepped in. Any. I don't either. Actually, my shoes are fine. Yeah, my shoes were fine too. You Man. at least wore Crocs. Yeah, fuck yeah, I wore Crocs. Because I was like, it's gonna rain. It's gonna get muddy. I'm not ruining my shoes. Crocs. Because mm-hmm. I can just hose them bitches off. Yep. Dry so, them and I'm good to go. So yeah, so we get there. It's like four o'clock. Is that about when we got there? A little before four. It was a little before four. It was like three forty-five. Torrential downpour. Anyway, yeah, it starts pouring when we get out of the car. Sweet, like, sweet. Throwing our ponchos, ponchos. On. half wet already. <laughs> yeah, ponchos on. Range for about twenty more minutes, and then uh, we get into the VIP section that was ass. <laughs> it didn't even go in front they, of the stage. Well, they never ever scanned our the, tickets. Did you see the, no, they, they just scanned scan our shit. VIP thing. They just we just went in. But I paid an extra hundred bucks for the VIP section. So did everybody. And it was garbage. That was like they had three porta potties in the VIP section, and with I lines guess, was just general admission. Yeah, people in there. Yeah, and then the VIP. I mean, some people were just kind of like, "Oh, it's VIP. I'm not going to go in there." Other people just didn't fucking care, and that's pretty obvious because and this, only like a quarter <clears throat> of the people in there had the VIP bracelet on. Yeah, and it was supposed to be preferred viewing, and it was all the way off to the side of the stage. There was no like good stage view unless you were in the absolute corner. And it's not that. yeah, it wasn't preferred viewing. It was the no, worst was VIP viewing. thing I've ever seen. Yeah. So that's <clears throat> that's that sucks. It, that it, sucked. But uh, we just said fuck it though. Now, okay, so the fun part was when we were uh waiting to mm-hmm. go to the merch before the show. Yep. We met some interesting people. Yeah. That's right. That guy was there originally too, wasn't he? Which we guy? didn't talk to him there. Which Chris is, Farley. Chris Farley. Okay, <laughs> he was there. He was at the tent he, when we he, walked up. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Because you were shirts, shirt buddies. Right, shirt buddies. Right, right. away. He had similar shirt. Right. Like I was yeah. wearing like this kind of like breezy, breezy Caribbean style button up. looking button yeah. up. You know what I mean? Just I was like, I can unbutton it if I get hot. But mm-hmm. it's light and it's like breathes well. And I was like, fuck this. This is what I'm wearing. I'm not wearing some heavy, like a t shirt's going to get heavy right. with sweat and stuff. And this is, it, it is a perfect shirt. I wore my stick figure tank top. It worked great. Right. And I was like, <laughs> I don't want to wear a tank top in case it's super sunny and I get cooked. I like, right. I don't want to take. So, anyway, we're standing there. We semi bonded over a shirt. We're standing over there. Ooh, and this that- guy's hair is fucking soaked. <laughs> And I'm like, well, it just rained. Okay. His hair never fucking dried. Not the whole time. Not the whole fucking time. And he was a mile a minute. Like when I talk about Chris Farley, I'm talking about like high energy. Right. I'm gonna go to the front of the stage with my family. Yeah. And it was just he was just way over the top. A hundred percent of the time. Yeah. There was just zero chill. Zero chill with this guy. I'm like, we're at a chill concert. And this dude like, was supposed to be pretty chill. And he was Intense. A mile a minute, a whole fucking night. I was like, I don't know what he's on, but it, dude, his fucking hair never dried. Yeah. I've never seen someone's hair be perpetually wet. I mean, he was a bigger dude, but like. Some people, it, it was too wet to be just sweat. Yeah. Like, but he wasn't dumping water on him or anything. So we uh-uh. just like kind of, he was in our area the whole time. We we became part of his it's umbrella. umbrella. The, he said, you want to be a part of the umbrella? <laughs> the umbrella. And I was like. Sure, dude. Like, what's the yeah. umbrella? Like, he's like, nobody comes in. If we go out, we let the same people back in. 
Yeah, we're like, all right, we're in. Back in. And I yeah. was like, all right, dude. Like, he was I very get it. animated. He was super animated. And he had like, he's like, I got my daughters here and they're going to be at the front and I don't want anybody fucking with them. And I was like, all, all right. right. Like, he wasn't like telling us what to do or and anything. They drove from Michigan. Okay. They apparently made a pit stop. And I'm glad you got the deets on the people that were around him. Mm hmm. Okay. So you, you kind of got the details. And there was like, Two girls, and they were probably in her older, know, mid-teens. One that was obviously older that was his sister. And the, the older lady who was and, smoking like a freight train. Yeah. Um, and there was another like old hippie lady that come walking up. And then she, and was, she got under the umbrella. <laughs> um, so she was under the umbrella. Yeah. And then there was like some other lady that had these water... Watermelon fingernails that she just had to tell everybody was the so, same fuck color as the porta potties. As the porta potties, and she was obsessed with her retarded fucking fingernails yeah. being part of. I'm I'm bringing it back. It's coming back. I don't. I, I know. It's, I know it's not PC, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Her retarded fucking fingernails <laughs> and and toenails, and she's like, they're the same color as the porta potty. Blah 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 blah. And then she asked me, she's like. Hey man, are you Rasta? And I was like, <laughs> Rasta, Rasta. She's like, yeah, Rastafarian. Rastafarian. I was like, no, I'm white. And she's yeah. like, huh? <laughs> she was white. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I was like, no, I'm white. And she's like, no, like, we we just left this Rastafarian camp yeah. in West Virginia and stuff up in the fucking she's mountains. Like, she's like. And weed is like that's their religion, and I was like, yeah, that's 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 part of being Rastafarian. Like I get it, and I was like, I said, I said, I, I'm Christafarian, <laughs> and she looked at, looked at me, and I just like turned around. Yeah, she said, oh, I was like, that's the okay. end of that conversation. Thank you, thank you, because she just wouldn't she shut was the so fuck up. Weird man, dude, and then she was talking to me. I think they were on like Molly or something, something. dude. They were on some fucking drugs. Um, it was. She was like in and out of weird, like dancey moods, and mm. like it was just a strange and then angry and yeah, like, she pissed got off. Angry and... at what? I don't even know what she was mad about. She was angry at the the guy, which is probably oh, her husband Farley. or boyfriend, husband, whatever. Husband, boyfriend, partner, whatever he was, swinger, I, lifer. I don't, I don't know, know what know. it was, but like his sister seemed like oddly close. Mm hmm. And so it was just it, it was, was kind of weird, weird interaction going on in front of us. And then their Whatever. kids didn't want to be there. They were older teenagers. Did they had zero fucks given about that concert? Yeah, and he like the, put them up front, and then he got mad poor, when one of them wanted poor, to not be up front. Right. Well, she's probably hot. Mm -hmm. She was like two hundred pounds overweight. Yeah. And like I'm a bigger guy, I'm not gonna sit here and bust on her weight, but she she's probably very uncomfortable in a crowd in a sea of people. And she was like gothy kind of. Yeah, and she had like two inches of makeup on. Yeah, and it was just it was it was hot she did not belong for the first two bands, and just to have somebody that looks completely miserable leaning on the front fence watching bands that are there, like performing for people that want to see them, right? That are there to see get them. The, get them off the front, man. Get the fuck away from the front. You're just gonna lean there and be, be there. fucking yeah. miserable. Anyway, <laughs> they're under the umbrella. Um, <laughs> The so, umbrella. So this umbrella thing became like us and the people in there. And it, some, it, we were like the bouncers at the back of the yeah, umbrella. Yeah, it was so strange, you know. So, but there was like some people behind me that were kind of like appreciating it because yeah. I wasn't letting people like cut through, and yeah. you weren't letting people cut through. And it was like one guy tried to cut through, and I was like, no. And then this other like, he was probably a little shorter than me, little punk kid, like mid twenties. Oh, the, the surfer the, kid, yeah, yeah, right. With the long hair, right, and he had like a little bit, a little bit of, little bit of, little bit of chin thing. hair, yeah, and stuff. And he comes walking up, and he tries to push his way through. I was like, "Yo, dude, like, what are you doing?" He like bumped into you, right? And I was like, "Well, what are you doing?" And he's like, "Man, I've been back and forth up to the front the whole time." But well, I was like, "No, <laughs> no you, you haven't, because like, no, we've been here the whole time." I was like, "I've been here the whole time." No, you haven't. And <laughs> he's like, "Yeah, man." Well, well, and I was like, "No, see, I said, I said, do you see this whole group of people right here?" It's a family of people. I said, this is a family of people. I said, this is a family. I was like, and I don't know you. You ain't been here. And you ain't been, yeah. And I, so I said, you ain't been here. And he's, and I said, so no, you're not getting through. He said, and he gets kind of like close to me. Like in my face, he's, he's like, 
what is he's i got 20 bucks it says i fucking am <laughs> and i was like i don't need you 20 bucks <laughs> and i just turned around and fucking ignored him yeah all right and then he was like two rows behind you just like staring at the back of your head he was mad looked, like what are you I gonna do back. yeah but dude if he would have done anything everybody that's the umbrella would have fucked his ass up yeah he especially had, like, eight dudes on him. especially chris farley oh yeah he would have threw hands oh, that dude was like boom big, instant like, big heavy hands yeah <laughs> that guy that guy didn't stand a fucking chance yeah. dude he, he was he and was i was crazy. like dude i'm at a show to chill like i'm not trying yeah. to i'm enjoying the show i'm in loving the music yeah don't come in you're trying to be a dick and a and try to bully your way up and like threaten me like dude wanted to fight yeah like and that's not that's not the usual thing at the like, concerts I don't think, man i know and it was really it was all. really really strange to me the vibe's never like that. And, like, a, the couple of people, there was another guy that tried to get up through the one time. The real and tall he, dude? Yeah, and he didn't, like, push or, like, try to do like this other kid did. Right. With you or anything. He's like, he said, I think he said, like, hey, man, I'm just trying to get my daughter closer or whatever. Yeah. I was like, oh, well, like, okay, not, well, over there. Go over there. Yeah. Go over here. You're not doing anything. Right. Like, you're not standing your six foot five ass in front of me <clears> with then, your daughter up on your shoulder. That short lady that was standing next to me, he went and got and stood right in front of her, and I'm like, I tapped him on the shoulder. I'm like, dude, you're standing right in front of her. Because she looked at me. I was like, I'm like, oh, well, I, I mean, it... and I tapped him. I said, hey, you, you're standing in front of her. She can't see anymore. He goes, oh, okay. And he led her up front of her. And he stood behind her, which is like, all right, that's cool. You can stay there. Yeah, but I mean, he could do that the whole way to the fucking back. Because you're six foot five, dickhead. And he had his daughter on her shoulder. That <laughs> nobody behind could see. Yeah. I mean, I, I get know. it, but. Everybody wants to be up front. If you want to be up front, maybe you should have planned ahead. And, and got there, there when we got there. Speaking of planning ahead, dude, I've been looking online, and a lot of people have been complaining about the traffic and getting in. Well, yeah, there have been people that get there never tools. got into the show, and they were standing in line for over an hour to get in. And they said somebody outside said, the fucking gate. Yeah, outside the gate because security was checking everybody was, and there were like maybe two people scanning tickets or whatever. And they said that uh, at one point security stopped checking bags and stopped checking wanding people and stuff just because to get people in because it, the process was so slow. That's a bit terrifying. Exactly. That's like, that is a safety issue. Big time. D we didn't like, get wanded. <laughs> we didn't get wanded. They didn't even we scan didn't, the fucking tickets. They didn't look at our pockets. They didn't, didn't do anything. They scanned your VIP thing, though. That was it. Gave so, us the I mean, bracelet. If you, if you paid the money for VIP, you can. You obviously have a ticket. But, yeah. I mean, it was still kind of like, hmm. Who the way this place was run was a huge fucking. Well, they failure. were all volunteers. The entire place is volunteers. True. Like, uh, you can't you staff talk to that a security guy. With volunteers, dude. The security guy's like, yo, as soon as I go on break, I'm going to get fucking high. <laughs> I said, like, security guy's going to get high. There you go. I was, like, I was like, good for you, dude. He's like, yeah. He's like, I'm just here helping somebody out. Yeah. He said, had I known this is what it was going to be, fuck this. Yeah. He wasn't happy. He but. was, dude, but he was super cool. Yeah. Whatever. I don't know, man. And then, was... oh, and then, then we walked up to get drinks when we got there. Mm. And it says like four bucks for a water. Was it six for a beer or five ten. for a beer? And then it turned out to be 10 a beer. Oh, yeah. They said six. And then and they looked over at the sign and it said 10. Then, oh, it was $10. Oh, we already had beers in, us, in our hands. Yeah. I was like, well, fuck, oh, fuck it. it. I guess we're paying for 10. a beer. That's the last one I'm drinking. Um, and the only waters they had were fucking liquid death waters. So it's like I'm paying four dollars for a can of water that I don't even think is good. Yeah, I mean it was wet. It worked. It was wet. Kept us cool. It's, ooh, water from the Alps. Let me yeah. pay four dollars for this. You could have bought some fucking food line spring water. Yeah. And sold them for two bucks a bottle and made more profit. Yep. And, and people then, would have been mm. very happy. It was. It was. I don't know. It okay. Let me let me say this. It's probably one of the best concerts I've ever been to. Yeah. It was all three bands were fucking awesome. They were amazing. And then they came out and supported each other. Mm hmm And sang with the other bands. And you know, and it was a lot of fun. Yeah. What a, what a, um so leaving there, your friends made it. You so your your friends made it to the show. Oh yeah. They were they were Megan and Chris. Meet us there. Yeah, Megan and Chris made it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Having never met Chris before, didn't know what to expect. He's probably one of the funniest human beings on earth. <laughs> He's awesome, man. Okay, that guy was if fucking hilarious. <laughs> right? So Chris has got a new friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh Mag and Chris, if you're listening, like Chris, we we need to figure it out, buddy. But yeah. Um we'll hang out. Yeah. 
So that shit was just a fucking riot. So, so so we asked them like, hey, could you give us a ride back? Because our Uber know, was gonna be like seventy bucks. Well, dude. So hold on. So let's talk about Back Bay Farms a little bit more. Okay. On the way out. Okay. Now we'll talk about the transit out of the place, and it was fairly quick but entertaining. But at the end of the road, to the entrance to the farm, it's pitch black on the road, and there's like forty fucking people standing in the pitch black in the middle of fucking nowhere waiting, waiting for, for Ubers. Ubers. On the fucking road. Yeah. Like a highway. <laughs> it's like the main road that goes through the country yeah. there. It's just people just sitting there waiting for fucking Ubers. Yeah. <laughs> Which is crazy. I was like, man. And now that's assuming that Uber's going to take the call. Be like, yeah, I'll drive all the way out here in the middle of fucking nowhere to pick somebody up. Right. No thanks. I'll stay in my. There's probably people out there till the next fucking day. If I had to guess, that probably happened. Yep. So it's... Megan and Chris took us 10 star uber by the way 10 stars you get plus they five. get 10 stars they get a ten five extra because they had drinks and snacks, and snacks. <laughs> when we hadn't had anything to eat or hardly since, drink since the breakfast. whole concert yeah since breakfast so we were so freaking <laughs> well, hungry. like right before we drove to virginia beach yeah in the morning yeah we were just going on whatever adrenaline man adrenaline we were psyched water <laughs> yep and a beer yeah we got a little bit of a, a little bit of a buzz a little for... bit of a sugar bump from beer well, yeah, but anyway we're empty, so but... so we're leaving and there's people getting stuck in the mud the place is muddy as fuck because mm -hmm. it rains all grass no grass. luckily megan and chris scuba -roo. we just kind of zoop zoop <laughs> one out and as we make this turn we're getting yelled at to slow down because there's people walking up the right. fucking main way to get into this place and what did chris say to them guys he goes well, they said something to him what they had said was, that's a nice tailpipe on that Subaru, or that's a nice butt or something. With their, they call it turd cutter. <laughs> nice turd cutter, yeah. Yeah. Because they were like, oh, that's a nice ass. That's a nice rear end on that Subaru. That's a nice turd cutter. <laughs> the Chris, <laughs> out the window, he goes, no matter what you guys say, I'm not going to sleep with either one of you. <laughs> and they're like, well, we're not even 18. Yeah. So that makes you a rapist, a rapist, and a pedophile. And, no, he goes a rapist and a racist, and a racist like, against you're both white against young people, yeah, or something. And he's like, he said, I don't care. I'm still not going to sleep with you. Yeah. <laughs> so I, he said, I don't care how old you are. Yeah, I'm still not going to sleep with you. Yeah. Uh, it was. <laughs> it was, was just so dumb and random. Yeah, it was very random, but it was hilarious. His quick wit. Yeah. The, so, yeah, so we get on out, and it, he dropped us off at the hotel, and we're like, "Fuck, man, we really need some actual food." <laughs> and so, actual food. Yeah, we're we're starved by. I think we got back like eleven thirty, something like that. Uh, I was around, uh, maybe eleven fifteen, dude, because we ordered food probably eleven thirty. Mm. Um, That's true, and it took an hour to get it. Yeah, we just ordered some Wendy's. Man. We ordered Wendy's from half a mile down the street. For uh, from Grubhub. the problem was like we on when we got back, we like had a couple drinks because we we're expecting like, yeah, we're gonna be able to get some, some fucking food. DoorDash. Be good Wendy's up until two a.m. Yeah, and it's a half mile away. Like we didn't want to walk it. Cause that's an easy decision. We didn't know the neighborhood was good. Yeah, like it's kind of yeah. sketchy. Some some places mm. around there. I like, I don't as really we were driving through, yeah. So yeah. we we're like and mm. like. Have it like we got back, had some drinks, and then we're like, let's get some fucking food, dude. So we ordered DoorDash. Mm -hmm. Jada, <laughs> our driver. Jada happens. <laughs> so we're sitting here waiting. What is it? Uh, it was thirty like minutes. Thirty minutes. We're like, she's still waiting for food on the. App. She's been yeah. there though, right? She's been there for twenty five of said thirty minutes. We're like, is this chick really there waiting? What's going on? What's going? So, so we call her. <laughs> so our drinking mind. Joe hands me the phone. Non-confrontational Joe. Yeah. I'm just like, like you I don't know what to say here. I was like, hey, I just want to make sure you're doing okay. Like yeah, it says sure you've been waiting good. for food. Like I I just I need to make I want to make sure you're okay. Yeah. And she's like, Yeah, like we've just been sitting here sitting in line, blah 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 blah. But she didn't really say like a whole lot. She's like, Oh, there's like ten cars there's in front like of me, cars. lines wrapped around the building. In the drive-through, I'm like, 
why can't you go inside? But I was like, oh, it's probably too late for that. Zero. I mean, and she's probably pissed off. She's sitting in line. Oh, she sounded like zero she was enthusiasm. Zero any like fucks we were given. Bothering the hell out of her. Yeah. By calling her. So twenty more minutes goes by, and I'm like, I, we call her back. I was like, hey, are you okay? She's like, I'm actually at the window now. Like. Once they get her food, she's like, you have no idea. This Wendy's is always like this. And I was like, okay. And then some. So then I said something to her. I don't even remember what I said, but she kind of like lightened up a little bit. And some dude comes on. And he's yeah. Like, oh, a... by the way, we got, we're doodle And I'm like, what the there's, fuck? There's, there's two people. Two people. In it's not car. just Jada. I was like, you motherfucker's going to eat my fries. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, that's what you said. You, there's yeah. somebody. Yeah. At least there's somebody that's going to eat my fries. Somebody eat my fries for me. Yeah. Right. And uh, so they finally like show up. And at this point, it's been over an hour for Wendy's that's a half mile away. Yeah. So they pull up into the, like right in front of the hotel okay. we were at. And I was like, ah, well, dude, let's just give them like an extra five bucks. Because they were sitting there forever. And the app only let you tip like three or something. And we kept so bothering them. And we kept bothering. I wasn't bothering them. I don't want I my fucking not. food. Yeah. Right. So then I was I the whole time telling like, hey, man, just have faith in people. Sometimes stuff happens. And I've been, I was down here before and I was at a hotel right up the street when I was down there for a school. And I was like, just, it gets really busy at night, <laughs> but it's a Wednesday. So I'm kind of like being very optimistic. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to be very optimistic. So we get the food. And I'm like, see, Joe, just got to have some faith in people. We got our sodas and probably our diet, diet and or Coke zeros. Yeah. So sodas are wrong. Right from the bat. We're like, damn it. Frosties. It's frosty. They were fine. They were fine. Pull the burgers out. And Joe's like, ah, whichever one just says ketchup, that one's mine. And I was like, cool. They weren't I, labeled. I ordered mine just the way it is. Mm -hmm. Like, I wanted a Dave's Double. So it's got lettuce, tomato, onion, pickle, ketchup, the mayonnaise. They don't put mustard on a fucking burger. <laughs> Except yours. Except mine. So I open one up. It has just ketchup. I'm like, Joe, I think this one's yours. Yeah, and he opens his up because it looked mm -hmm. plain as fuck too. And it had just mustard on it. I was like, who does that? And I was like, well, and Joe, I, I know I you want to just ketchup. I don't eat mustard. He don't eat mustard. So I was like, let's just trade burgers. So I ate the fucking mustard the burger. Appreciate yeah, that Yeah, man. <laughs> I was hungry as fuck, so it really wasn't that bad. But the fries weren't even hot. Ooh. It didn't really matter too much because I was dipping in my frosty. They were crispy and like airy as fuck too. They were. It, it, it was, was like air fried. It was a very was strange weird. French fry experience yeah. from Wendy's. Orders all fucked up. Yeah. Because who gets a fucking cheeseburger <laughs> so, just mustard? We started out cussing out Jada because she was taking forever. Oh. And then she was a bitch for the first I, time we called oh, her. So I go on a rant about Jada. Yeah. And I was like, man, Jada, Jada's the type of person I want to hang out with. <laughs> Yeah, Jada, after she Jada, gave us the food and the second call, after the second call, you were like, Jada's like the type of person I'd I'd hang out I'd with. I'd hang out with. You know what? I'd call Jada for some like life advice. All right. May, hey, I really need somebody to watch my kid that I can trust. Jada. Jada, that's that. The, yeah. She's that person. Just being totally facetious. Right. Right. Just like as smart ass as I could possibly be just going on a rant about Jada. But like, oh, she was nice. And then like. We interact with them in person. And then we but, get our food. And they were great. Like, yeah. they were, like, cool. And they were happy. And we give them the extra, we gave them extra, extra money. Bucks, and they're like, ah. Not realizing that our taped, taped, taped receipt bag. Receipt was wrong. Everything, the receipt was on the receipt it. The receipt said JS, yeah. so it was yours. Mm -hmm. It had everything listed right. The food was fucked up. Man. You know what? And I can't even be mad at Jada. We were so bummed about it. It was fucking Wendy's. Right. It was their Because the receipt their fault. was right. But then we started cussing Jada out, like, damn it. Yeah, <laughs> fuck you, made Jada, this right. Right? Yeah. Jada, if you listen, man, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> right. I highly doubt you do. Just doesn't seem like your type of program. Yeah, no. Um, Probably not. But I'll be honest with you. That whole experience was a little bit crazy. It was weird. It was a, it was a very strange day. <laughs> the entire day was just full of meeting, like, oh. some of the, the most interesting people. Yeah. And then the other thing about the concert was the sound. For Kept clipping the, out the the first two bands, sound was great. Everything went well, mm -hmm. but then with Stick Figure, the the main attraction, if you will, came on and he was his mic was clipping out half the time he was singing, and then they eventually switched out guitars and it stopped. So I think so it, it was think, something with the guitar giving feedback or over, overdriving the amps. Probably maybe like had had an issue. 
But I don't know if that was their equipment or Back Bay Farms equipment. Because I don't know. It was like a pop-up trailer. If you saw the top, yeah, the but, roof, I mean, it said dude, something about trailer yeah, yeah, yeah. sound or something like that. Sound trailer or something weird. Or sound like, stage. All-in all sound or something, I think. Yeah. Was, yeah. So, <laughs> but the sound system was phenomenal. Oh, yeah. It sounded so good. It was a very a very good sounding. I think they were overdriving it a little bit for stick figure. But Probably. Their, their, their bass is... Uh, well, then... Uh, his bass is different. It just... It was very distorted because they had it overdriven a little bit. And the Pepper, they were just like so loud. Everything was loud. Oh, my Pepper God. when They, they came put out. on one hell of a show. They're so energetic, man. Yeah. I'm glad, I'm glad you like that stuff, Jada. man. I'm glad I got you into it. <laughs> yeah, they're way better than Jada. <laughs> but I'm glad you got into it and, and started liking it. Oh, and dude. Went with yeah, it. That was so fun good. experience, I'm, I'm so happy that I did. And the concert was phenomenal. The sh- it was... Like I said, it's probably one of the best concerts that I've ever been to. Mm-hmm. So it was yeah, pretty dude, good, despite all the the negatives. But I mean, whatever I bet, rain, it cooled some things down. Yeah, I for some reason, and I told you this earlier, like I've been completely unbothered by the heat, which is very strange for me. Strange, like I'm, yeah. I could be like pouring sweat, but even then, like I wasn't sweating during mm-hmm. the show. Like I was barely sweating. You was, were rolling with sweat. I was rolling before because like that, it was just hot and muggy from the rain. And there was no breeze, no wind. Did you see me? I was just kind of like a little bit sweaty. Yeah. Uh, I'm just unbothered. I'm just sitting here like with the, the t-shirts I bought. I'm just like the whole I think time. I made a mental decision to just not think about the hot. Probably. And it probably worked out for you. It's been working out all summer. That's well, hey, I go that's... outside to do things. I'm like, I have to do things. I There's no reason for me, me to be mad about it, being hot. That's what's up, man. And even like the sun, I'm like, it feels great. Thank you. And I go out there Boy. and just do my thing. Like, put some sunscreen on and just try to enjoy it. Yeah, man. And it was a hell of a good time. It was a good night. Fuck yeah, dude. I'm I mean, happy the whole I... thing. <laughs> oh, we were talking about, uh, okay, hey, gu- hey, girls, or whatever. Hey, girl. Uh, hey, girl. <laughs> we stopped at a wall. I had to hey, get girl. To go yeah. pee. We had to pee or whatever it was on the way home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was... We had to get water or drinks or something for the ride. It was way back up 17. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we were pulling in and getting out of the car, and one of the employees is walking out to. I guess there must have been another employee arriving or something. Somebody she knew, and she's like, hey, girl. And Rob gets out and goes, hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> or, yeah, he goes, hey. Yeah, and, just... and she goes, hey. And she goes, hey, y'all. <laughs> and then I about backed over <laughs> when I left. <laughs> yeah, it was right her ass over. <laughs> we were I was like, like sorry. <laughs> they thought it was funny, though. Sometimes yeah. you do that to people, and they just kind of look at you like you're a fucking Dude. turd or yeah. something. But and she played along. I'm a walking poop. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> it was so, you know... I'm just trying to have a little more fun. Yep. It's okay. It was good, man. But uh, I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, man. Uh, I'll tell you what, though. That shit's like a cult. It is. The stick figure music. It's like, it gets you, dude. It does. And when, once, like, he, <clears throat> it kind of, like, gets some hooks in you. Yeah. And, like, when we first started listening to it, it was like, we'd make a fun of it. I mean, we talked about it on here before. Yeah, it yeah. Dirk, dirk. <laughs> and it. I don't know. Fuck that. That it, shit's fire. It, it grows, dude. That it shit, grows, man. They're all bangers, all yeah. of them. So, um, I kind of feel like a dick. I was like, hey, we taking a Prius down? I could have drove, but you just kind of got oh. it and drove. Yeah. And you just cool. drove from Nebraska. Uh, after driving before. all the next, uh, the past two days. So, so while you were road. in Nebraska. Oh, shit. Are we talking that? The while you were in Nebraska, something happened. Oh, yeah. Uh, so... I didn't have you come over this time because I didn't want to bother you having you drive all the way to fuck over It was over a long here. way to go. Yeah, I figured that. So I asked Alex this time and said, hey, Mustang Alex, you think you can watch my house? Mustang <laughs> Just come Alex check out the cats for me, bear. scoop the poop once or twice, whatever. He come over a lot more often than that because he was just like, I'll, I'll go check on it for you. It's fine. And getting the packages and the mail and stuff. And well, that's sweet. after the after the incident. Yeah. He probably came over more. Yeah. 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 But at first, he, he come over the first day, scooped the poop and everything. Cats were good. Next day, uh, not the next day, it was like two or three days later, he comes over and he's like, man, he goes, your cat boxes are empty. Like, there's no poop or pee in either one of them. And he's like, and the food's full and the water hasn't changed. I'm like, huh. I'm like, uh, that, do you see the cats anywhere? He's like, no, man. He goes, I don't. And he goes, starts walking around. And he's like, let me check and see all the rooms. And he goes over to Jax's room. The door's closed and shut and latched. I'm like, ah, oh, fucking Luna. Our big main cooch. She shuts doors all the time. I'm like, we should have thought about that. So 
He's like, uh, he's like, yeah, man, the cats are in here. They're both fine. Well, he couldn't find Luna at first. And I'm like, she's under the bed, guaranteed. And I said, all you got to do is stomp on the floor. She'll come out. And so he's stomping around, and she eventually comes out. He's like, yeah, okay, they're both in here. He's like, man. He goes, he goes, they took a shit on the bed, though. <laughs> I'm like, oh, damn it. Mm. I'm like, well, he goes, do you want me to throw them in the wash or the sheets and the comforter and that in the wash? I'm like, I'm like, nah, just chuck them. We were going to get new shit anyway. And he goes, he goes, oh, okay. Or he, I said, just leave it and we'll deal with it. And he's like, no, I can throw them away for you. That's fine. He goes, I was like, yeah, the trash needs to go out probably anyway because it was trash day Thursday. And so he's like, I'll just take it out and chuck it. And I'm like, okay. And he goes, gets the sheets off. He's like, ooh. He goes, there's a stain on the mattress and it, it looks like pee. It's wet. And I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. Cat pee strikes again. Right. And it went all the way through the mattress protector too, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the waterproof mattress protector went right through that. Doesn't no fucking problem. matter, man. Nope. Cat piss is invincible. Yeah, man. And <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> it's unstoppable. Cat, cat, cat piss bats a thousand. Yeah. <laughs> it wins every time. Oh, uh, yeah. It's like a Mack truck. <laughs> so you wound up buying a whole new bed frame and mattress and stuff yeah, for man. him. And I, I'm excited because... You I'm, get to be the first one to sleep on it. Jax hasn't even slept on it yet. Fuck yeah. And you know what's wonderful? Hmm. They did it all on the bed. Yes. They didn't do anything it's on like the carpet his, his or the love smell. sack. He's got the love sack in there too. Right. They did it all on the bed. So like I, I went in there and I was like, well, the room don't smell. Well, when we came home, uh, I went... I was looking for Luna, obviously. She was somewhere, and she's deaf, so we had to stomp on the floor to find her. Mm -hmm. And I was stomping all over around in the room. I couldn't find her and stomping over in the other rooms. And Lily, our other little cat, she walks in to Jackson's room, and she's, like, all slouched down. Like, she's going to get in trouble for being in there and just kind of, like, creeping in there, like, "Uh, should I be in here? So, like, she knew she did wrong. So, you know. But we haven't had any issues since or anything. They've been using the litter box, so. So that's good. I they didn't mean, have a choice, man. That they at least they chose to go on the bed, but they also knocked every fucking thing off his shelves in there, <laughs> off of his dresser shelves. They knocked every fucking thing off they could. It's well, crazy, but they were pissed. And then all this and who shit knows up here how long they were in there? Probably at least two of the three days. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. Because if they didn't go in the litter boxes at all, it may have been that fucking but it's day. Like they were without food or water for those that days, those days too, man. Mm-hmm. I mean, they did okay, so. But it, still it just it just sucked. But I mean, you that's alright, dude. Uh, Jax has been took, wanting a new I, bed. Anyway. I took that mattress to the dump and yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, so it was nice. I just backed right up and we, they have we loaded it up after the concert and slid it off. Perfect. Yeah, and it didn't have any issues with the tie downs. No, we're good. No, you know what? I didn't even. Well, I did get out at three and three hundred one at the fucking light, just to make sure everything was still tight. So like the light just turned red. I jumped out of the truck. I'm like, this fucking light takes forever. Yeah, it so does. I jumped out in in the intersection there, and I was like, it was all good sure to go. It was all tight. And I was like, fuck it, nice, good to go. And in fact, one of them was a little too tight, and it was very difficult to get off. So I'm at the dump, and it stunk. Like people have been having like seafood smorgasbords on Ew. the Fourth of July. So that's right? why you're smelling in there. Oh, gross, dude. The whole area. I mean, it reeked of. Old seafood. Gross. That's the worst. It dude. smelled so funny. I, mean, I don't bad even like there. fresh seafood smell. <laughs> right, right, I can't right, right, right. Old right. seafood. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, I think we should skip our found some shit on the internet for the night. Okay. Do you want to do the douchiness or no? Douchiness. Because we can do. Well, so we we kind of we talked about a good douchebag. The one at the concert. Yeah, and that guy, I I honestly think now what's very interesting to me is the approach that I took. That you took to him. Hmm. Okay. When he was like, because he kind of like pushed, pushed on me on a little you. bit when he's talking about like, well, you were you were pretty sizable compared to him, so he didn't want to fuck with you. I don't. Right, think. but he kind of like bumped into me, and like yeah. I just looked at him. Like but the funniest thing was saying like, "I don't need your twenty bucks." Yeah. If you're trying to be like an asshole to somebody and threaten them, being like, 20 bucks says I beat your ass." Yeah. Oh, I don't need. And the guy bucks. says, "I don't need your twenty bucks." <laughs> That's like maybe I should back down. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> don't fuck with this. guy. Maybe this is the wrong guy. Yeah, That's funny. I haven't been in a fight in a long fucking time, mm-hmm. but I would have picked his ass up and oh, thrown sure. him down. <laughs> yeah, he was. He was a little guy. Yeah, it, it wouldn't have taken long. Like, come on, dude. 
even if you're fast, I'll just grab you and yeah. hold on. Yeah. And then I'll pick you up and probably just drop you on your head. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, That's funny. I don't, I don't want to fight. No. There ain't no need for a fight. I don't need either. your 20 bucks. And then and just ignore him. You're going to get kicked out to There's, miss the fucking concert. There, there is something to say, too. And like, if I walked into somebody, and I've never been like the tough guy going up to someone. Right. But if someone just like said that to me and then just turned their back to me, you'd probably like, be like, huh, <laughs> huh. Like, I'd probably, I would probably step Keep back. pushing. Like, yeah. You would step down? Like he did, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. If somebody said because somebody's confident enough to just like, I don't don't need need your twenty bucks bucks. and just turn and ignore you, yeah. (laughs) What do you do with that? He got the hint. So to me, it was like that's probably the best choice I could have made, and it was just, (laughs) it was was was, perfect. It It was just so fucking funny to me, man. Yeah. And then the people like the the tall dude with like this girlfriend that were like kind of right behind me too. Yeah. She had to whatever the the pink dress on and yeah. he was like trying to find her because she went to get waters or something oh yeah he's like, if you see my girlfriend she's got a pink dress <laughs> on blah, blah, blah. i was like no bro like she's she's been you know, where'd she go he's like yeah. she had to get waters she's been going for like 30 fucking minutes i'm like yeah it happens hey, dude you went to get waters it took forever yeah but luckily it was whatever between bands. so but they it, were trying to fend people off but and then trying seemed, to get back in yeah you were trying to get back up to me. <laughs> I'm holding like two waters He's up like, in there. I got waters I'm for like, my friend. I'm like, Joe, Joe, I'm, I'm, I'm coming, Joe. <laughs> I'm He's so, like, I'm right here. Not looking behind me, and I see Rob with the waters up in the air, and I'm just like, hey. I'm like, let him, man. Let him, man. He lives here. <laughs> what a fucking joke, dude. People didn't want to let you through, though. There were some other people that were just crazy about you it. You know, but but in all honesty, like, I'm not going to. I'm the not guys trying be- to bully people to get through. I'm not trying to. like. I'll work my way in there somehow. The two dudes behind us were like, he's like, they were like, yeah. He's like, yeah. He yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, I, I'm glad I got some co-signers, like some right. endorsements. Exactly. And then people did let me through. Yeah, eventually. Which is fine. You know, cool. But I mean, there were people just standing like, no. <laughs> well, I mean, that's like, how we were standing there. So that, I get it. True. I, I get, get it. it. Yeah, you don't want to lose your spot when you got a decent spot. Yeah. But man, we had fucking perfect spot. Okay. I mean, the, the pictures on there and the videos on there, you all see them. Yeah, dude, check out our, check out our uh, Facebook page. If it's, it's not all... for you, it's not for you, but, you know. It was a damn good time. Yeah, it was awesome. And uh, we're in the... Uh, did, we, did you post a picture of us in mm-hmm. the I circled it. Yeah, 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 with us circled. I posted that. We're at a concert, like, hey, I heard a front. <laughs> just having a good old time. Hey. Rob just got a big smile on his face, like, yeah, this is great. And I'm this like, yeah. The best. <laughs> this is the best. Yeah, that was one of their posts, Stick Figures posts. So. Mm. It was awesome, man. I had a good time. Me too. Thanks, I can't dude. wait for the next one. Yeah, for real. We're, we're going to go again. It's going to be hard to beat that, though, with those three bands. I think. I don't know, though. They complement each other so yeah. well. It's like the show kind of has like a... It was a weird... I don't know. It's just a good vibe the whole time. Mm-hmm. But Pepper, the... Pepper's so high energy, dude. Those guys are... Yeah. They're entertaining. They, they they're entertainers. It. And they've been doing it forever. Right, but they are entertainers. It's yeah. very obvious like, that's their profession. Mm-hmm. What I thought was cool... I've never seen them up close like that, that close at one of their concerts, but when people are holding up their phones, taking videos or pictures, they'll come right to the phone and yeah. point to them and be like, yeah, come on. Yeah. They'll, like, smile at them and shit and, like, pose for Very it. interactive with the audience. Yeah, it was super cool. Yeah. Like, I swear that one time he was talking to me. Yeah. <laughs> One of the singers, I like, swear he was talking. Oh, to me. now you're listening. Yeah, he goes, Oh, now you remember yeah, us. Because yeah. I was sitting here watching. That was when the dude was trying to bust up front, mm, one of the dudes. And I was yeah. looking over at you watching, and I'm holding my phone or whatever. And I was previously singing along. And, uh, and then I turned back around and singing along. He goes, Oh, now you remember us or whatever. Welcome back or something like that. Dude, like in the middle of his I, verse. I think it's funny that we're back on this. But remember when, when Watermelon Fingernail Lady. Mm-hmm. Uh, started talking to you. Oh fuck, dude! dude. I had no idea what she was saying because she was drunk as fuck. You couldn't fucking understand her, so I kind of like <laughs> leaned my head in a little bit to like try to decipher. Like, good, it. Rob's gonna help, and I leaned in and I just looked away, <laughs> and I started looking behind me like I was just yeah. totally ignoring the entire situation. I was like, I was like, oh good, he's, away. he's listening. He's gonna help me nope. figure out what the fuck she's saying. Nope. And I'm like, uh huh. <laughs> Uh, and uh-huh. you, you and I eventually me. just turned away and ignored you her. And I just looked away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't know what to fucking do. It's like, thanks for leaving me hanging, dude, asshole. Dude, I couldn't fucking hear her. I know. I couldn't either. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it was a good time, man. That was so fun. Christafarian. Christafarian. 
She just looked at me like a deer in the headlights. <laughs> What's that? What's that? <laughs> oh, uh, dude, that was too funny. Yep. Good times. All right. So, I guess, are we, we doing a would you rather? We've been at it for a hot minute. We need to. We're it. coming up on two hours. That's, That's not awesome. too bad. That's not too bad. We did that one. Do we ever hit this? Yeah, it's on. See? Oh, okay. These ones, nope. All right. Okay. Oh, you looked at them. I just wanted to make sure we haven't done them. Okay. Um, I would say top one. Okay. Oh. Didn't this time. <sighs> would you rather? No. Use hot sauce as eye drops. That's the winner. <laughs> okay. I'll let you know right now that's the fucking winner. <laughs> or. Okay, for one, I won't even. I wouldn't even do this with my own. Okay. Okay. So would you rather use hot sauce for eye drops? Uh-huh. Doesn't specify what kind of hot sauce. Doesn't. Just says hot maybe, sauce. Maybe something nice and mild. Cool. Could be mild. Okay. But vinegar won't feel good in your eyes. Could be fire in your butthole hot sauce. Fire in your butthole hot sauce in your eyeballs. Yeah. So fire in your butthole eyeball eye drops. <laughs> eye drop. Uh, I don't know. I'm thinking too much. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Or... Eat all the hair from a stranger's shower drain trap. Oh! <laughs> Think about it, like you ever clean Ooh, your own shower drain, right? Yeah, dude. Like you got a wife, I got a wife. Yeah. Shower drain trap. It oh. is a stinky, smelly fucking Sasquatch in there. Oh. It smells so bad. And uh. it's just it's got all like the white soap film residue. Uh. It's just like, oh, <laughs> oh man. And it's like long, I, like I kinda spaghetti just noodles. Be done. I, I just kind of want to be done with this right now. It's like a Wookiee, man. Yeah. <laughs> but oh, shit. No. Yeah, pull the fucking no. drain out. Hell no. But, you know dude, what? hot sauce in your eye. You ever have pe you've been pepper sprayed? Nah. Okay. So I got OC sprayed. I've been OC sprayed Fair. twice. Mm -hmm. Right? There's. I will take that over eating someone's fucking hair. Okay. You've experienced it. I'm going with you then. We'll have to do this one. And I, I I'll tell you this right now. It is completely unpleasant. I'm sure. But after a few hours, like it never happened. Yeah. Well, that you'll never forget the feel or the smell. No, probably not. You'll never forget it. But I'll tell you what, you eat someone's fucking shower drain hair, you you you'll you'll remember every yeah. every fucking split second of it. Yeah. And that sounds mm -hmm. awful mm -hmm. and disgusting and you just hope that they're not in there making like drain babies. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Then you're eating, you don't want some shower hair full of drain semen. babies. Right. Yeah. Just some, some leftovers. Oh, man. Some, yeah, dude. Some... I'm going to have to go. I, I'm going to have to go with the. Because, uh, you sauce, know, people like pee just... in the shower, too. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. No, thanks. No. All right. Hot I'm sauce. That one. Hot sauce eye drops. Hot sauce eye I'm drops. I'm agreeing. Yeah. It's like pepper spray. It goes away. Yeah. It'll go away. It'll the go fucking away. drain babies don't the go vintage away. Vintage vegan. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's good oh man <laughs> okay. all right <laughs> yeah it, it's got to be vegan it's got to be vegan hair that's not a thing it's not it's not vegan is ve hair hot is not sauce vegan. though could be vegan dude vegan eye drops we'll fucking just sell fucking right? tabasco called vegan eye drops whoa i mean fuck that'll wake you up yeah mm. i mean it'll force right your up. eyes closed but it'll wake you up <laughs> Need a quick wake up in the morning. Bloop, 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 we got bloop, your solution. Bloop, bloop, bloop. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Uh, All right, man. Cool, dude. Well, Was that you an know episode? What? We managed to finish before midnight. We. Oh shit! And we got started Hot late. Dog. We got started late as fuck. Hell yeah. So anyway, let's. Uh, we're gonna talk to chat for a little bit if they're still here. Yeah, man. Uh, everyone, thanks for listening and enjoy whatever fucking time of day it is. Yeah, man. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> All right. So we're still live. Everett, you here still? Hey, brother. You still here? Yeah, man. You look like a Howley. So what's up, everybody? Who's here still? Probably not Dennis. He probably fell asleep. Oh, I'm sure. We're probably still live at his bedside. <laughs> he's, he's painting the wall. <laughs>
Oh no. <laughs> Dennis is getting commercials. Yeah, yeah. We gotta get some commercials for him. <laughs> Dennis painting service. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a uh, it's a uh, drywall finishing and spackling. Oh yeah, oh, that's so gross. Everett, what's up, man? You still here? Say something. Say something in the chat. We're talking to the chat. Chat, motherfuckers. We're talking to the chat. Mm, chat, mm. get we got there. Chat, four people chat, besides chat, me in chat. here. I, I'm seeing three, five. Oh, it says five. Five is well, now. It says six because you balls. just got on. So, oh, oh shit! That means we What's got four up? others hey, than us. If you're here, say something hi, in the chat. Hi, we're, we're talking to the chat. Hi. Please talk to us. We want to interact. I'm gonna turn this thing on though. Get it oh, cool down a little th- bit. Yeah, it's a little bit uh toasty up in hell. It's getting like humid. So I saw your mom was here. Donnie was here. Your mom was here. My mom. She's here now mm. in this house. She's a-, a Ron came on for a little bit. He did. Yeah. You know we got the regulars on. Ever mm-hmm. drops in every now and then. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate you. We didn't you. get a hi, Danny. No, we did a hi, Danny. He was, I told him, and he said he's probably going to go hang out with a buddy who came into town. Okay. I was like, that's cool. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. Oh, dude, we got subtitles. Some, I didn't even realize. I forgot. I always I forget we have subtitles. Let's see what we can make it say. They're auto automated. Does it say fuck? I don't know if it'll say fuck or not. Oh, uh, hold on. Nope, it, it bleeps it out. It has stars. So, so Facebook right now oh. we're we're testing things that the uh, the auto. What is it? The uh, the auto fucking auto subtitles. Subtitles, yeah. We'll say it won't the say auto, fuck. And it, you just said the auto fucking. Let's see, what is it? Oh, it just said the auto fuck auto <laughs> star 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 auto. Uh. Fuck fuck shit fuck cock. <laughs> let's see what it says. <laughs> we'll test it out. <laughs> Here it comes, here it uh, comes. Get ready. <laughs> I'm just start, I'm That's start, just all start. asterisks. Asterisk. Cock. It said cock. Ooh. Cock. It did say cock. All right. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. It says cock. <laughs> Fucking cock ass. Well, it's a bitch. <laughs> it's cock all over there. <laughs> it's cock all over there. There's cock, cock. <laughs> Cocky. Well, it's, it's It cock. won't say bitch. Well, nope. that's that's unfortunate. Will, be, it, will it say damn? Probably it'll be like D-A-M. Or it's going to think I'm referencing... A dick. Dick. It might say, your name is Dick Tracy. <laughs> D-A-M. Suck my... Oh, it says dick. <laughs> oh, it'll say, okay. That's good. Dick, dick. <laughs> dick, <laughs> dick. <laughs> this is dumb. This is... <laughs> Fun with subtitles, everybody. Right. But the chat's quiet, man. You know What's what, dude? Up? I'm going to make this uh, 71 and a half. May as well. Just does the fucking dick, dick, fuck, suck. Dick, fuck, dick, fuck, 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 shit, fuck, 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 Instead of and red. the letters red. No, the light bulb red. Well, it's hard to get the light bulb red. I had to order red light bulbs or red LED. So thing. it's just tough with the, the, the maybe just oh, dude, all black with just the letters being red. Oh, and we turn the light on, they're bright red. Well, if it was white with red letters, it would be okay. I painted them shits black, so oh, I really? painted them white or something. I don't know. Mm. Uh, oh, oops. Did you break it? What did you do? Did you rip a letter off? Oh, you scratched the... <laughs> you scratched the paint off. Or it might have been a magic marker. I don't know what I used, but anyway. I get what you're going for. It's just the camera doesn't... It, it doesn't pick it up, yeah. I'm sorry I scratched off the black. <laughs> <laughs> Shit happens. Okay, we can try to be back. We, st- we still got some peeps in here. What's we up? do, but nobody's saying shit. Nobody. It's, it's fine. It, Dennis is asleep. Yep, he's just sleeping on his phone. Everett probably fell asleep. Probably by now. Just sitting there. Vintage vegan. 
A A Ron never said anything, so he might have no. just dipped in and dipped out. Maybe I don't know, but it says so we have seven people now. God damn, what's up, seven people? Talk. Hey, if you're we're, here, say you're here. We're talking to the chat. Let's go. Come on, Let's man. Let's go. We're talking to the chat. Say something. Get in here. Say something, motherfucker. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to I'm trying to to get on the uh, the show here. Who? Oh, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> what? I'm part of an interesting Facebook group. I'm not gonna elaborate. I'll tell okay. you after the show. Fair enough. Let me have some of that Mictors. Oh yeah, dude, it's good. So what's up, everybody? Who's here? Say hi. Please say hi. Somebody say that you're here. Oh, I'm here. Uh, hi, everybody. <laughs> Sorry, we can't have a button for everybody. But hi, everybody. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, well, all right. I guess nobody's here. Nobody wants to talk nobody to us. Wants to, nobody likes me. I wish I could see who was here. All right, so now, now it says five. Dad was here. Now it says five. And I'm a vintage vegan still in the chat on mm -hmm. my phone. So Same. All right, just wanted to make sure that the uh, live stuff was working oh. right. Yo! What's up, Kyle? Hi, Kyle. Are you with Danny? Oh, you know that Kyle? Yeah, it's my brother's friend. When does did did he did he go to Kyle, Texas? What? Kyle? Uh, what do you mean what? Did you know that there is a town called Kyle? Probably in Texas. I'm sure there's Kyle. Okay, in all well they had the, they were attempting the world's largest gathering of Kyles in Kyle, Texas. Oh. So, um, did you go, Kyle? Tr Trevor Trevor Wallace went, but he's not Kyle. No, but he plays the Kyle character that drinks monsters and punches drywall. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so he went. That's hilarious. But it was supposed to be the world's largest gathering at Kyle's to set a Guinness World Record. Okay. Somehow it was not the world's largest gathering of Kyle's. And there was hundreds of people named Kyle there. They just went. Oh, yeah. it still wasn't the there, largest. No. It didn't break the record. Of Kyle. How the is fuck there, is, is there a, a fucking record? previous record? Apparently. Did you know that, Kyle? I mean, I didn't know that. If my name was Kyle, I would have went. Yeah, man. I'd have been like, I gotta go to Texas. Spare no Kyle, expense Texas. to send a world record. I bet they sold a lot of shirts and like street signs. And oh, I bet. I bet you made money off City it. signs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. I hate drama. <laughs> I bet you punch holes in it, don't you? You punch that shit. You drink like three <laughs> monsters. I mean... You, oh! Dennis hates drywall, too. <laughs> <laughs> Father Dennis. Good old Father Dennis. Good old Father Dennis. Hey, I got a bullet. You do? Well, it's a machined... It's a fake bullet. ...replica. But yeah, it's pretty neat. And it's got paperweights in it. <laughs> it's like... Gravel or something. Yeah. No, it's neat. Dude, it's were you watching neat. any of the people play the instruments at that concert? Yeah. I always watch that. It's like the, the bongo dude. Yeah. He's the best. Yeah. Uh, he's he having the, the most fun. He had the fucking... Well, like, I don't know. K-Bong is having a blast. Oh, dude, K-Bong's always smiling. He's in a permanent smile. I think yeah. he's just perpetually high. <laughs> um, that dude's always You don't wear a smile things. like that, just... Right. Everywhere you and go. And you're not all just time. fucking high. Um, no, the dude had a bucket with, like, screws on it that made the noise. And then he had the little ring of keys. Yeah. Did you see that? Like, yeah. Like, house keys, car keys, whatever the fuck keys. <laughs> Just a ring of keys. It's That's how he makes a noise. And then the other thing was like a bunch of like uh, caps, like like spray paint can caps, like different little sizes and stuff that was hanging there. Oh, I didn't see that. I missed yeah. that. Okay. Well, let's check it out then. It is pretty neat. Like, so Kyle, what's up with you tonight, man? What are you up to? What are you doing? What's your profile picture? Him and his What's your sign? Kid? <laughs> what's out. your What's <laughs> your sign? <laughs> I give a fuck about your sign. ASL. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, this is what I was. We well, use it about. like face, like a uh, like AOL instant messenger. Hi, Kyle. ASL. ASL. Question mark. Age, sex, location. Oh, it's been a long time for that. Sold out. Don't look at the picture. Look at the comments. Oh. Next time you come to Virginia Beach, please book at the amphitheater. It's a nightmare. So many. So many had to turn around. Hours in line only to miss the whole thing. And that stage? Are you serious? 
Stick figure replies. Oh, wait. Oh, you screenshotted it. Yeah, it's a screenshot. It's just a picture. Uh, we hear you, and we most certainly agree. We had a very fun show, but we will not be returning to that venue, and we're very sorry for the experience. Mm-hmm. Like, they acknowledge that the fans fucking suffered. Like, in that picture that I showed... I mean, you, their you should comment and be took, like, your VIP was bullshit. It wasn't them. It was the venue. But a lot of people in the VIP area got to see Coco and meet Coco and take pictures with Coco. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Like, they walked along the side over there. And, oh, okay. Yeah. So, the other thing about uh, this band, they have a, a dog. Coco the tour dog. It's singer's dog. Coco de Rasta. Yeah. Uh, and this dog just like hangs out on stage and watches the crowd, just like people watches and just like waits for balls and toys and people bring bring her dog toys and everything like that, stuffed animals. Do you see that one point she had this banana? Yeah. So she got that a few shows ago, and apparently they were in Massachusetts for their next show, like yesterday, tonight. today. It's tonight, yeah. But they were there yesterday, I think they got yeah. there. And apparently she carried that thing around all day. Like, that's her, like, ultimate favorite toy that she got. That's cool. Like, literally. He posted something on uh, Facebook I saw that <laughs> it was just, like, um, her just carrying it around multiple times through the day. Like, through the hotel, out on the beach, out in, like, some fucking vineyard thing they were at or something, looking thing. And, like, this dog's just carrying it around. She had to take the fucking banana toy yeah, with her. That's that was funny. her favorite toy. Dude, she was just, like, stand night. up on the edge of the stage, just look at the crowd. Yeah. Just looking around at just she massive the coolest people. Fucking dog, That's a man. badass dog, dude. But like I talked about, like how how do the poor dogs hearing, man? They might pack our ears. I would hope. <clears throat> I mean, he's a smart dude. And I'm sure. I don't. I don't is. know. Or maybe she's a deaf dog. <laughs> there's there's that, but she responds when they talk to her. True. So I guess her hearing isn't shot. No. I mean, but it's just interesting. It is the pretty wild. Just, cool life. And then, like, other ba- the other bands were up there. And she and just she was out walking there. out with the other band. I mean, as long as Scott was out wandering around, the dog's out. Yeah, that's so. true. And then he was getting ready to come out with the bands, too, so. Yeah. And that's when she was up. Whatever. It was neat to see, like, cool. just some fucking cool-ass dog up on a stage just mm-hmm. staring at the sea of people. And she, like, normally they, people will bring, like, balloons or... Some of them balls she'll like hit back out of the crowd and stuff, mm. or she'll play with the balloons and the the beach ball type things. Yeah, and the they sharks throwing her like a fucking tennis ball or something because she was just up there waiting for stuff. Something, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, the dude was tossing the tennis. The people were tossing a tennis ball around in the crowd. That was yeah, fucking people were getting dangerous. fucking binged in, like hitting the fucking head with tennis, of tennis ball. I was like, oh man, I hated having to fucking watch for that thing to come by. Let me tell you something. That that tennis ball would have came into us, I'd have thrown it behind the fucking stage. Mm-hmm. It would have been gone. Just like, it's going with the equipment, guys. Well, one of Fuck the other, off. <laughs> was it Was it Chris Farley that had said, they're throwing fucking tennis balls? Yeah. Back in my day, we never threw tennis balls. Not my umbrella. Yeah. <laughs> Not my umbrella. And every beach ball that came up, he hit that fucker up onto the stage. Right. It's like, dude, get it back into the crowd. Everybody's playing with it. <laughs> it's a beach ball. Yeah. It's not a tennis ball. Fucking tennis crazy. ball's got to fucking go. I don't know, man. And then people were like, ball, 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 ball. Ball. Yeah. Ball, ball, ball. Throw me the ball. Throw me the ball. Throw me the ball. And then people missed it because they were either stoned or drunk. Look, man, nobody in that venue is going to accurately throw a tennis ball <laughs> anything greater than 10 feet. Right. No. And they're trying to huck it over a crowd. There were some guys who just like threw it really high oh, up just and winged really it. Really far back. Yeah. I'm like, you got some hit somebody like, unsuspecting. Dude, the one girl, she got mad that was like to the left of us, one of the little teenage girls. When he spiked the ball? Yeah. And she dude... picked it up and fucking just whipped it back in her direction. I was like, shit. Like, she fucking hucked that tennis ball, dude. Yeah, dude. You're like, good. Fuck them. Yeah, man. That's a, I was like, yeah, fuck them. <laughs> she just kind of smiled. Whatever. Is it interesting crowd at all them shows all the time? You get. I wonder if they didn't play the. Oh, if Pepper away. didn't play that one song because there was younger people there. Oh, the uh, point and shoot. Point and shoot. Yeah. yeah. That's an interesting song. That's. 
<laughs> pussy licking, pussy licking me. Oh, oh man. Yeah. See if it says that. A photo oh, it does say pussy. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good song, though. But it's just interesting. It's like, oh, okay. That's like their best fucking song, too. Uh, one, of, one of them. It's a good one. I enjoy it. They got a lot of best songs. Th- that whole album's good. They've been around since forever. I want to right. look. They're like Sublime Curious Era. Now. I thought so, but... It, uh, Maybe not that far. I think they're early like 2000s. Early 2000s? Yeah. Let me look and see. Definitely big Sublime influence, though. Oh, they're, yeah. They're, 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 they're like punk... 2004. Punk California reggae. 2004 was their first album. In with the old. Okay. Yeah, their album covers are crazy weird. I'm going to download more of their music. I really enjoy it. Mm-hmm. But their shows, dude, they have so much energy. Dude, they're they're entertainers. This is a good song. You heard this one, Stormtrooper? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah. And this was their stupid one that they played, and the whole crowd was like, their newest single. Mm-hmm. It's not good. I don't like it. It's not a good concert song. <clears throat> no, not at all. It's a good, just like chill song. Yeah. And there's some songs, like, very obviously, that the crowd was just kind of like, mm-hmm. Mm. Just chilling to? Mm-hmm. Some songs people were really into. Yep. And Chris Farley <laughs> never heard of Pepper. No, but he was into him. Yeah. He was jamming. And he's like, yeah, dude. These guys are awesome. Yeah. yeah. We're he, here. He turned around to me umbrella. and was like, yeah. Umbrella. He turned it around out, to me. He was check like, it out. Fuck. Yeah, dude. You weren't wrong. These guys are great. Yeah. Check it out. Fucking Pepper. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Ooh. that guy was extra, man. Swiping his fucking wet ass hair. Mm-hmm. Anyway, yeah, his dripping sweat, his fucking shirt was soaked. That dude, yeah, he was on one. Man, the wet, the wettest part of my shirt was where I had my stick figure shirt that I bought, bought, yeah, over my shoulder. Mm-hmm. That's the only place I was super sweaty. Everything else, pretty much dry. Yeah, <laughs> it's cool, man. It's just I could talk about that fucking it, concert all night. Interesting time. It was great. Yeah. So anyway, I think we're going to wrap it up because not a whole lot of interaction happening. It says there's three people. Sorry, one person. It it's not me or Joe. It's late. We're late. <laughs> we know. I mean, it is Happens. Friday night, so fucking live a little. Um, Jeez. Anyway, Kyle, I'm glad you hate drywall. Fuck Heck drywall. Heck yeah, Kyle. Thanks for coming on for a hot minute, yeah, bud. Donnie was here, too. Thanks, here, Donnie. If, uh, if you were here, we appreciate you. Thank you. And if you weren't here, well, come a little bit next time. Or a lot. Or a lot. However much you want to come. <laughs> Picked up on it. Save it. Pre-game. Do whatever you need to do. <laughs> right. Do what you got to do. Come okay. before you come, and then we'll be here longer. Yeah, well, my my, my subtitles have stopped, but I don't know if it's going to say that or not. Oh, mine's good. It's good. It, it says come see you on me. Okay, well, that's fine. You know. Oh, my, 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 my. <laughs> it's so, it's my not like, it's, so it's not like C-U-M. No. It's C-O-M-E. C-O-M-E. Okay. It's all good, man. You were cool, here, dude. though. No, dude, but, don't be uh, sorry you're late. You can always check us out once I uh, decide to edit this, whenever the fuck that happens. Download the episode. And or you can watch listen. it on Facebook if you want to watch it from the beginning. Yeah. All of our videos Rewind. are on Facebook. So as soon as I'm well, done with the live thing here. Rewind. Bam. <laughs> I'm going to hit fucking uh, end. And then within a few minutes, usually it's available to just watch. Mm-hmm. Yep. Watch so, and listen. Uh, the actual but, uh, show portion where we don't interact with the chat is a little bit structured. We have a show sheet, topics we want to talk about. And we did that, and we went through all our stuff, had a good time, and... Uh, Recorded the basic episode, and he'll edit it and put it out there for the world to hear. I will. I will. And life's a little bit easier with us having the theme song in there. Right. So, what sucks is we started talking. <laughs> you have a theme song. You made it. Yeah, so, Everett yeah, yeah, yeah. Everett, Everett said that. I saw that. I was like, oh, right. You have a theme song. You made it. We, we, do. Have, we have two theme songs. <laughs> it's true. For just having 5,000 downloads over 70 plus episodes. That's amazing, man, to think about. I listen to mind. some guys, man, you know, like I listen to Blurry Creatures, and early on in their show, they're like, it's amazing, like our last episode already has 10,000 downloads. Episode. It's, yeah, episode. Episode. Yeah, you Singular. Know. But right. it's still just us two dudes who ain't doing anything to promote this shit or anything. It's yeah, people yeah. just jumping in I don't in know they're promoting listening. it either. They're just like a very, like... Holy shit, people are finally talking about this sort of stuff. 
If you haven't listened to Blurry Creatures, Kyle, you should check it out. It's interesting. It'll open your eyes. Eyeballs and everything. Mm. Maybe your butthole, I don't know. It won't open your butthole. No. It won't open your third eye. <laughs> Not even the brown eye, he said. Won't open your brown eye either. No. Unless you sort of like, man. earned like brown big, eye things. Big hairy dudes with beards that do a podcast about cryptids and the Bible. Sasquatch. Yeah. Hmm. It's very good. It's a very good show. All right. Anyway, cool. <laughs> We're going to get the fuck out of here. Yeah, man. Maybe drink a little bit more. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Let's do that. Bye, everybody. Have a great night. Deuces.